Hello everybody, welcome to Five Idiots, episode number four. There is sadly no calcium today, he's been unable to make it all weekend. Um, we tried to give him a chance, but unfortunately he wasn't able to, so there's only four idiots today, but we're still playing fifth edition. Um, Fault Force, would you like to take it away, please, seeing as you're the expert? Yeah, I mean, we can take it away. I mean, what, what happened last session? From, from your character and your perspective, Jim, what happened? Oh, that's a good question. My, my character was very, very drunk. Uh, I was role-playing a drunk person, and... Uh, was therefore trying to start fights with everybody and getting... <laughs> I'm not actually a violent drunk, but you know, when it's when it's not real, um, <laughs> it's okay to try and kill everybody, isn't it? Uh, and then we, so we got a bit drunk and then went to this graveyard here that's on the screen and there was like some undead monstrosity and stuff. And then we, and then they alerted us to the presence of some lady who we were gonna try and come back and sort out this session. <laughs> Agatha. <laughs> Agatha, yes. So who did you who did you speak what, to in Christy? the uh, in the cemetery? That's <laughs> vaguely, vaguely, didn't me. Uh, night demon, the aspect of death, or something, wasn't it? The aspects of death. So one, the aspects of death, who's basically responsible for passing people on to the, uh, uh, basically to the to the next life, um, and putting their souls to rest. Unfortunately, has been blocked from uh, from doing his job. By uh, by this witch, Agatha, and uh, you need to figure out what's going on and how you can resolve it. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, you guys got into a got into a lot of fights. You played some blood bowl. You got drunk. <laughs> Demi had a fun time with Marcus. Tren was <laughs> staring at some lamps. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it wasn't bad at all. So I think no. that brings us back into where we were last time, where uh, I think you guys came back to the tavern. Was that correct? Yes. Yes. Yes, because we had to come back like tomorrow at two a.m. or something, didn't we, to see the? Yeah, to... yeah. And I, I stole, I stole Marcus's noodles and took them to bed with me. <laughs> you did. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Get rid of cans. <laughs> <laughs> yes, store, uh, sorry, uh, this doesn't work for the stream, uh, but that was just a dream store, not real life. <laughs> oh, it was just a dream. The whole... <laughs> the whole it's, a, it's too hard to explain. <laughs> it's too hard to explain. <laughs> okay. Lucky man. <laughs> it's too hard to explain. Oh, there's Hellboy. There's no... It's whatever Fiat, he's called. Dragonborn. Fiat. Nah. So, you guys have come back here, and you're in the tavern at the moment, and from what's been explained to you, you guys are waiting, and you are going to have to go back tomorrow morning to see what you can find. Mm. Uh, and that's basically as far as we got, yeah? So you guys are just standing in the tavern, what do you want to do at the moment? Is it daytime? It's currently daytime. I want to tell oh. Marcus to F off. <laughs> Are you, are you actually going to tell Marcus to F off? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, I think that we need to try and find out as much information about this task as possible. Before that, I think we need some waffles. <laughs> what, like Belgian or... <laughs> yeah, some, some <laughs> Belgian waffles. <laughs> yes. With chocolate chips. Okay, Please. that's... Yeah, let's, let's you do guys, that. You, you guys are looking around, and you see there's nobody else in the tavern because it is early in the morning. Apart from Fiat, who's standing there. You go over to Marcus, and you uh, you ask him to cook you up some delicious waffles, which he uh, he goes back, tells the tells the chef what to do, and he, uh, he obliges. Where are you guys going to sit? I think at that first table. You got this table here? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not the table I would have chosen, but hey. <laughs> who can say if it's good or bad? Just the table, isn't it? <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, you guys are sitting in the uh, the tavern. It's, it's still got some lighting on. There's not too much natural light. I'd say it's about five, six o'clock in the morning at the moment. You guys have uh, come back from the graveyard. We haven't slept um, yet, have we? Shrine of luck. Um, you haven't, no. Unfortunately. D Dimmy's slept. Yeah, Dimmy slept a little bit. Dimmy yeah. slept a little bit. Tren and I only need to meditate for four hours, not actually sleep. Yep. Yep. I read. I read things. He read things. Good job, Jim. Marcus, uh, Marcus comes bumbling over with, uh, with a tray full of food, and he just oh, places it all in front of you. <laughs> Special wink to you, Dimmy, as he, uh, as he trundles around and uh, 
and puts a plate in front of you. As always, you are his favourite. <laughs> He's fit. And, uh, and yeah. So he, he just starts asking, so what, what, what happened last night? Tell me about it. Um, so... <laughs> We uh, went to the graveyards, and uh, we met a really strange... Up at the strange... Shrine of Luck, yes? Yeah, we met a strange character, and uh, he wanted us to help him do his job, is what he said. He wanted you to help him do his job? <laughs> yes. Mm. And, and he is like the fairy master. He's like the guy that... It's something to do with souls, and he helps them pass over to the other side. Biatch interjects and, and basically explains from what he knows about it being the aspect of death to Marcus mm. uh, and what's going on on it. And uh, he actually reveals to you guys that you need, uh, you actually need a stone in order to be able to see Agatha, which you are going to have to go and find. They may a have stone, it over at Bathins. You say? A stone. They may have it over at Barthens Provisions. Is they it may like not. A proper stone, or is it like a pebble? It's a seer's stone, uh, so it's used mm. to see things in the uh, in the somewhat supernatural. And where do we find that, Marcus? He uh, he grunts and uh, he looks down. He says, "You, you could probably find one at uh, at Barthens Provisions. Apart from that, I would have no idea." Are they common? Are they common or rare? Or... Uh, somewhat, somewhat common. You should be able to find one without too much of a too much of an issue. You basically hold it up to the light, and um, and you can you can see through it and see things that you wouldn't usually be able to see. Mm. <laughs> That's no, not a cyan dude. stone. <laughs> oh, a cyan stone. Amazing. <gasps> cyan, you say? <laughs> or it can be a cyan stone moving forward. Fine. So yeah, you've got to go pick up a cyan stone. Brilliant. Is it okay. purple? <laughs> yeah, it's purple, yeah. And blue, sorry, I don't know why I said purple. <laughs> yes, it's blue. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the room is eerily quiet at the moment. There's really not too much going on. There's some faint music in the background. But uh, not too much what? going on at the moment. You guys are just sitting there eating your pancakes. I mean, what, what, what did you guys order? Tell me what you ordered. Oh, a uh, three stack of Belgian waffles loaded with chocolate chips, lots of butter, some whipped cream, just sogging. So with... Train ordered a heart attack. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, what did you order? <laughs> a seizure. <laughs> I'll order the same. Hey, why not? Uh, why not? No, I'll have bacon. I'll have bacon and maple syrup. Bacon and maple syrup. That's mm. completely normal. It yeah. is, mate. That's what they do in America. You are, Bacon you look and syrup. To, you look over to Fiatch, and he's, uh, he's a fairly normal, normal dragon body. He's enjoying a nice bowl of muesli at the moment. Mm. Nice. Delicious. <laughs> Yum. Who doesn't love a good bit Usually, of muesli? Usually, I quite like muesli. Yeah, I quite like muesli. Yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't mind muesli. Yeah, I don't I think, mind it. Right, right. That's it's what I'd have if it was bit. real, but seeing as we're role playing, I'll eat something disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> what time does the. We need to go and get one of these stones, lads, lads. Let's go to the shops. Let's go to the shops and we buy need, this stone. We need stone. to get one of these stones. Do you want to go we now? Need to okay. Let's go to the shops. Let's go to the shops. It's getting to the point where people are starting to wake up as well. Yeah, so okay. let's beat the rush. Let's so. beat the rush. <laughs> beat rush so hour. You, um, <laughs> You walk outside the tavern. It's like queuing up for anywhere. next on Boxing Day, isn't it? It's just. Mm, it's <laughs> you, you walk down to Barthens Provisions, and uh, it seems to be shut, unfortunately, at the front of it. Mm. The um, the little cutout that's uh, that's usually open has a, a plank boarded over it, which is a little bit odd to you because it's not a plank that's just pulled down; it's been nailed into the wood. Um. Is there anyone around us? There's nobody around you at the moment. I want to try to rip the plank off. We could try and look around hey. the back. We could whoa, look around the whoa. back and see if there's any. Ato, Ato, why are you trying to. Yeah, calm down. We gotta get the snow. Vandalize some random if, job. No, no, Let's look there, around the back there... first. Let's look around the back first. That's in, front, in front of you. 
You have the I wish calcium window. was here, it would choke her out. <laughs> you have the cutout window, and then to the right of it, there is a, uh, a door. Right, can we knock on that door, then? You knock on the door? Yep. Nobody knocks. Run. <laughs> Let's run. Let's, Let's run. run. Let's go around the back and see if the see if the back door. We've knocked on the front door. Now we can kick the back door in. You uh, you start walking around Barton's provisions, and <laughs> there is no back door, from what you can see. Wow. Um, there's a couple of windows, both of which seem to be, uh, they they're not very strong windows. They're uh, they're wooden wooden cross windows. Um, there's no light in. from inside at all. But it's uh, it's lit enough that this should be open, isn't it? This should be open. You find it a bit odd because you are you're looking at the sign at the front gym, and it says they open at uh, it says they open at six o'clock and it's six fifteen. Mm. Okay, go on, Pate. You can choose choose how you want to break in. <laughs> um, can I if peering through the window? Can I see any stones from the side at all? Any stones? Like the stone that we're looking at. A cyan stone? stone? Yeah. A cyan stone, yeah. Can I see any uh, cyan something stone? Something like this would be considerably priced. It wouldn't be shown in a, in a window. Mm. Mm. Can I detect evil? <laughs> there is nothing evil in the local vicinity, Dimmy. Alright, let's break in. Go on, Trent. Apart, <laughs> from, uh, apart from Dimmy. So, apart from Trent. Trent's the only thing that's wrong <laughs> up on your, uh, your radar. <laughs> okay, so so there's a, there's a bar on the front door, and then there's some windows that are easily breakable, you're saying? They appear to be. Make a perception check. Oh, oh let me grip God. my dice. Trent's perception. <laughs> <laughs> These horses are dead. <laughs> Horses are very dead. Not twenty. <laughs> oh, baby. Ooh. The, oh. Windows, uh, the windows aren't locked, Trin. You go, girlfriend. Oh. Oh, oh, oh! I am instantly going to try and um, open the window. You manage to open the window in. with absolute ease. Oh, I climb in. Not, not, not that sneakily. I kind of clumsily, like. <laughs> Yeet myself into the window, <laughs> making a little bit of noise. <laughs> Are you making? You, you're not trying to hide the fact that you're going in, right? No, I just yeet myself through the window once I open it. <laughs> you uh, you make it inside. All right, I'll follow. I'll follow in because I'm an elf. I'll, I'll, I'll stay outside. Yeah, I'll Dimmy stay can't. Outside, he's, he's got too much armor on, and he's a half orc, aren't you? Big, make him oh, I will do a forward roll. <laughs> For no reason at all. I'm you do that in a I'm second. Do it in a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna what do I have roll. to do, Faulty? Jim, you need to make a an acrobatics check because unfortunately you have your Bane cape on, which is going to make it very difficult getting through that window. All oh, right. Well, I got a fi I rolled a fifteen. What is it? Acrobatics. Eighteen. You uh, you manage to go through. Your cape parts on the sides, pulling itself behind you. There's um, oh, is that almost sentient, Jim? <laughs> And, uh, and you glide gracefully through the window. Glorious. <laughs> you want to do a forward roll, Demi? <laughs> yeah, I, I wanna, I wanna do a roll and then just keep a lookout. Are I you rolling roll. to a nearby bush? Yeah, I'm rolling to like I'm gonna do a forward roll to a nearby bush so I can keep a lookout. Right, make an acrobatic. <laughs> Acrobatics. Right, hold on. Uh. Oh, hold on. Oh, God. You ready for this? Yeah. Remember, you get 11, minus... 11. Minus 4, Demi, because you're in half plate armor. <laughs> what happened? Minus 4, because you're in half plate armor. So, 7. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, um... Oh, no. Oh, no. You, fail the, you fail the roll, and you roll forward. You, um... You trip on a rock, and you fall face first into the bush. <laughs> and you're gonna take. Oh look, it's a it's a bramble bush, Dimmy. Take two points of damage as you get brambles stuck in your face. Oh, God. <laughs> Classic. Dimmy. Right. Where's me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So where where are we uh, once we crawled into the window? So you are. It's, it's a very simple shop. It's basically a house conversion that's had all the walls knocked out of it. So there's one layer on the lower floor, which has a storage area. Uh, you can see where the window would have been and where it's boarded over on the front. 
and then there's some stairs going upstairs. Alright. Well, I guess the Pate is just going to try and steal everything. Um, so maybe I should try and convince her that we should try and find whoever the owner is or whatever. You know, try and do this all above board. We don't want to steal. Let's do this all legit above board. We only broke in because it was locked. We were so concerned. From what you remember, we are the heroes Barthen. as well of this town. It's Barthen who is the uh, who is the owner of this fine establishment. Yeah. Do I see anything around me in my immediate <laughs> hands arms reach? What are you What are you looking for? You know, I'm looking for anything shiny. <laughs> I mean, there's lots like a, of shiny things. There's lots of shiny pebbles and rocks and things like that, which are all stored we're nicely in cases. Rocks. We're looking for rocks. We're looking for are they any? Stone. Are any of them the rocks we're looking for? <laughs> Make a perception check. These are not the rocks you're looking for. <laughs> are these the rocks we're looking for? <laughs> and that twenty. Oh baby! <laughs> Can you oh, see a nice was. glass, a nice glass case on the countertop? Whoa. There is a, uh, a nice cyan stone that uh, is quite large. It's about the size of the palm of your hand. And it's uh, it's been banded with a gold banding on it and a, yeah. uh, and a chain on it as well. And you notice this is what you're looking for. Is the glass um, able to be picked up? No, the smash glass. it. It's, uh, smash it. You, you can just lift it open. You, uh, you look at it. It's a glass it case. Open. There's a latch on the front. Oh, I just start instantly going for it. Okay. Well, that's what we want, isn't it? Alright, <laughs> right, darling. That's fine. Right. You, um, <laughs> you go for it and you, uh, you grab it. No problem. Gladly, you see a stone. <laughs> right, well, we've got all your I look at Jim. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, really, I'm really hurt by this bush, by the way, guys. Are we going to keep up? Are... Disaster. I know you broke in and you're all nimble. <laughs> Like my We're arms cut, I've got a bit of a graze. Uh, you know. We're already here. <laughs> no, I you think we should. Gonna, have... You guys gonna look around a little bit more, or are you gonna leave? Like... Oh, I don't know. I, like, obviously, Robin, I really want to steal Ryan. everything. I am lawful, though. I am lawful. So, no, we care what we came for. We can even pay for it later. Let's you just get out. You weren't lawful last session, Jim. Yes, I was. I was just drunk. I mean, my character was drunk. I have a Malibu. I have a Malibu. Is more there any Malibu alcohol more around us? <laughs> I think, I think anything, anything, what, is there anything else there? Can someone do a perception check and check so if there's anything else? I'll, I'll do it. I'll as do it. as Trent's look. looking, she does find something. Oh god, I, what do I, I find? How about a PM did you? I got... I rolled a 9. Oh! Hey guys, here on the counter, I found a bit of ripped paper with the same spider symbol that we saw earlier. Ooh. Is there anything else on the paper, Faulty, or just the symbol? It's not. It's uh, it's looked like it's been accidentally torn out of it. To the uh, just underneath it, it looks like it's been signed N A, and then it uh, it cuts off mm. or it's been ripped. Mm. What was the name of? Goldilocks staff, whatever he was called. Glass staff. That Glass was a Lano. I'll never remember his name. <laughs> so would we would we know that the bar the keeper like lives at this? As, um, um, as Tren is pulling out her, her extract, you, you kinda of put two and two together, Tren. Um and you basically pull out the extract from the uh, from the book that you found in Glassstaff's diary. It's on screen at the moment. Oh, here we go. You want to read that out? Yeah, yeah. It's the it's the same 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 uh, excerpt I saw when we were in the manor. The Lord Albrecht, your spies and everyone to tell you that strangers are due to arrive in Phandalin. They could be working for the dwarves. Capture them if you can, kill them if you must, but don't allow them to upset our plans. See that any Dwarven maps in their possession are delivered to me with haste. I'm counting on you, Larno. Don't disappoint me. Mm. So it's the same spider symbol, it's right? It's the same spider symbol. Hang on, bottom. hang on. Who's Larno? We've heard that name before, right? You that's, have. That's glass mm. stuff, isn't it? Larno. No, Larno. Larno is glass guy stuff. from the red coats. Yeah. Yeah. So Larno is glass stuff. Yeah. Do you think uh, they did something to the in to the shopkeep? Yeah, maybe. Make a perception check. 
Another nat 20, another nat 20, another nat 20. Do, it, actually, do, it, do, an, investiga do an investigation. Investigation check, yeah. 11. You, um, you start looking around and you, you get close down to the ground looking, looking for things. And you see there's blood, like, very, it's been cleaned, but they've missed certain spots. There are faint blood splatters on the skirting of the, uh, of the walls. Mmm. Jim, there's blood. Get Dimrath! <laughs> Me? What am I gonna do with blood? Stab people You're to gonna... death. Right, I'll open the front door and, and get Dimrath in. Uh, it is locked shut and it has been, you don't realise this from the outside, but from the inside, it has been boarded over. No, oh. we've just got to, we've got to do it ourselves, Patea, because Dim, okay. Dimrath is too too bulky to get through. He'll probably die if he tries to get through the window. <laughs> oh, okay. can I forward roll through the window? <laughs> you can attempt to. I, can I attempt, I'm going to attempt to forward roll through the window. Make an acrobatics check. <laughs> 14. 14. Minus 4. Ten. Mm. <laughs> Unfortunately, Dimmy, you uh, you give it your best try. You run up and you put your arms forward as if you're going to dive through the window. And unfortunately, your shoulders are just too broad with the half plate armor, and you smash into it, falling back with a clang. And you take eight points of damage. <laughs> what? I just look out the window and say. <laughs> Oh Jesus! I need to go and see a healer, guys. I need... <laughs> I've got eight health. The healer. We need Cassie to do the quiet. <laughs> can I? Can I heal myself? Can I? Uh, I want to cast. Uh, what's it called? It's the cleric spell. You're uh, you're causing a bit of commotion. Let me uh, see if anybody notices. Flip me. Dude. Luckily, nobody has noticed at the moment. But uh, if you keep going like this, people are going to notice. Mm. Oh, I'm going to stop rolling, guys. I'm going to stop okay. rolling. Yeah, well, I'll go to the window and say, Dimra, keep it down. Something's happened here. We're going to investigate. You just keep a lookout for us, okay? How's your cock? How's your cock, Jim? Good point. I'll get him out. Looks all right. Daka, daka, daka. He looks all right. Thanks for asking, Dim. If you uh, if you wanted to get Dimmy in there, you could pry the boards off the uh, off the door from the inside. You have a crowbar. Why do I need to be in there? Like, is there anything else in this room that's going to help we're us? Not, we're not sure. We don't know. Yeah. Um, you know that there is. You know, there's blood on the skirting boards. Mm. Uh, they, they're they're explaining yeah. this to you, Dim. There's blood on the skirting boards, but the rest of the the rest of the shop has actually been meticulously cleaned. They've just missed a few spatters of blood on the, on the boards. Oh, is that why the shop shot? Mm. You, you um, put two and two together and you uh, you start thinking. Faulty, I start sneaking upstairs. Yep, make okay. a, make I a will stealth sneak. check. I me. will also sneak then. No, 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 no. Take my crowbar and rip the boards get, off the front get door. Get Dimrath in. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll crowbar sure. open things. Still oh, 10. How do you uh, how do you pry them off, Jim? Eighteen, just you know, with a crowbar. <laughs> yeah. Just pry them off. There's nothing fancy to it, is there? Pry off them and then say, right, you okay. Just, you, you get it. You raise the crowbar up. You put it in, and uh, and you start pulling back, trying to pry it off the uh, the wall. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Get that cool. off. They are pretty they good at pulling off. back things. <laughs> I rolled a ten, faulty for sneaking you upstairs. A uh, you're in <laughs> stealth. Okay. So I shall now go. <laughs> now I shall go. Dimrath, get through here because he can probably get through here even though he's. Uh... Get through the front door. Yeah. Okay. I'm to gonna forward sideways, roll. Right? I'm gonna forward roll through the door. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm, not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk Whoa, through the thank door. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna walk through thank the door. Fuck for that. All right. So we're downstairs. Trend stealthing upstairs. Fill, we, should we uh, fill our pockets? Any... Should we fill our pockets? No, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. We're the can good I, guys. Can I look for anything? In, can I do like a perception check to see if there's anything in there that will deal with like spirits or uh, celestial beings? They've like... already relayed to you the information that the Seer Stone has been taken. Yeah, the Cyan Stone. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I knew. I know we got the Cyan. But is there anything else? Yeah, have, in there have a look that's... around. Have a look around. <laughs> have a look. I, I'm gonna have a look. 16. 
Um, you're looking around and you see a bag full of uh, what appears to be white powder dust. Well, hey, let's go. <laughs> Oh god, that's Timmy. So you're, uh, you're you're reading the little note that comes with it because there's a little note that comes with these things, and uh, it can basically be thrown onto things to uh, reveal them for a short period of time. Ooh, I take it, I take it, and I'll pocket it, and I'll put it in my satchel. Oh, dust, dust of appearance. Mm. Dust of appearance. Good. I'm guessing this thing's going to be invisible then, so. Yeah, that's good. I think we shouldn't steal anything. I think we should just get our weapons out, ready, <laughs> and... What, uh, what do you think is going to happen? Like, we're well, in a shop, mate. Well, because there might be people left or whatever. Trends sneaking upstairs. Let's just get ready in case anything happens and she needs our help. I don't I don't think anything's going on here, could, mate. I think we want to just get on and... Like, I think we want to leave and go. Well, let's see what happens upstairs. <laughs> what, do, what do you want to do, Tato? She's sneaking I'm upstairs. I'm sneaking upstairs. Okay. Yeah, have I... Okay, yeah. Do I see anything? Or do I... Do I hear anyone? See anything? So you're sneaking upstairs and you're checking over the banisters. And there's uh, there's one room at the end of the hallway that's locked. The uh, the other ones are open. They just appear to be a bathroom and a storage room. But there's, uh, um, there's one at the end that appears to be locked. Am I able to lockpick it? Uh, you could attempt to. I'm going to attempt to. For those who are in chat, by the way, you are uh, you have a poll up. I got another nat 20! <laughs> Natural 20. You, um, you go <laughs> I, I won't video evidence. <laughs> it literally is a nat 20! Like, <laughs> three out of four. Was, Come on, that's man. That's three! That's three! <laughs> Friend, you um, you go up to the door and it is unlocked. Oh, baby. Completely unlocked. I go in. You go in. How are you going in? And stealth? Are you just barging in? Um, not stealthily, but I open. I just open the door and waltz right in, just looking around. There does not appear to be anybody in there. Before you was a nice bedroom. Uh, you got a nice side table, a nice double bed, a mirror. Wow. And a, and a painting on the wall. What's the painting on the wall? Yeah. Uh, painting on the wall is a nice paint. It's basically Dimmy's painting. Nice painting of a yak. Oh, nice. A yak? Ugh. Is that what you've got, Dimmy? No, it's like Dimmy, a... Dimmy, do you want to show us the painting? <laughs> yes, I'll show you the painting. It's like a Highland cow, isn't it? Well, it is. It's... it's... <laughs> This is the painting that Tren sees on the wall. <laughs> Why is there so much white space? I hate it. <laughs> Too much white. Um, can I pull out my dagger? No, oh, you're not God. stabbing my painting. <laughs> and I, I just, where there's all that white space, I just draw an X. And I'm like, beautiful. It needed this. You draw an X over the white space. Yep. <laughs> Outrageous. Is there anything else in the room there, worthwhile? There is a, too much uh, worth places, isn't there? I agree, I agree, begrudgingly. Oh. <laughs> Does it look like there are any signs of a struggle? Make, a, make an investigation check. Oh, there is, Train. There's blood spatters on the skirting board. <laughs> Blatantly, someone's been murdered here, and they've covered it up. 21. Like... There is damage to one of the walls that appears to have been covered up. You start moving over the bedside table and there is a hole in the wall that has been uh, hit with something like a hammer um, as it's, uh, it's gone through. You start looking around further and you see more signs of struggle and you see more blood splatters. Uh, this time on the back of the, uh, the, the back of the side table. Mm. Okay, I go wander downstairs. Look through the hole, Tren. <laughs> oh, oh, is no? I'm already walking downstairs. I'm like, there are signs of a struggle. No, I'm just walking down the stairs, <laughs> and I find you guys, and I'm like, hey, I think they kidnapped whatever his name was that was so nice to us earlier. <laughs> the one that gave us the armor, the a shopkeeper. I think they kidnapped him. Yeah. You recall his name is Barthen. Barthen. I think they kidnapped Barthen. Why? 
Uh, who knows? Yeah. As, uh, as this is going on, you guys start to hear a, uh, a meowing coming from uh, from upstairs. A meowing? A meowing. Oh, God. Try it. Better hold on. There's a cat. No, hold on. Hold on. There's a cat upstairs. I just start bolting with no regard for safety upstairs to go <laughs> save the cat. <laughs> you are... Uh, you find the cat. It's a, it's a nice tabby cat that's currently carrying in the corner. You didn't see it. It's hiding behind the uh, behind the toilet seat, essentially. Uh, I just want to go like... The... <laughs> it starts hissing at you and scratching at the air. <laughs> come here, kitty! Come here! <laughs> as, you, as you reach your hand forward towards it, it, uh, it lashes out and scratches you across the hand for one damage. <laughs> oh, good kitty, good kitty. I pull out a little bit of meat and like hold it back in my hand. <laughs> it uh, it looks at the meat and just starts hissing. So I like chuck it at it. The uh, the cat gets enraged and starts <laughs> lunging forward at you, and he starts scratching at your legs. That bit in the front. Good kitty, good kitty. I just start petting it as it's scratching me. <laughs> It's uh, it's just torn open your leg. Takes three points of damage. <laughs> oh, dude. It's getting more and more enraged. What are you doing? Um, I grab it by the neck and the back so it can't scratch me, and I'm just holding it around, saying, "Good kitty, good kitty, friend." It's uh, it's screaming at you and clawing at the air. Can, can I can I like walk upstairs and just shoot it with my crossbow? No 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 no! I will kill you if you kill oh. this animal. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna. Um, I I look at Demon Cock and I can tell him that he's noticed another animal in the area. <laughs> <laughs> and I, but I've got an ability. I can talk to animals and shit, can't I? So I'm gonna go upstairs and yep, and can. cast my spell or whatever. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what this fucking spell is. Meanwhile, I just bring the cat in for a bear hug, and I'm just death gripping it to my you, chest. Uh, you bring the cat in, and it tries to go for your jugular on your throat. That's okay. What Good kitty. Come in and shoot what's the cat. Your, uh, what's your armor class? That's okay. Uh, twelve. Or oh, no, fifteen. It, it hits you in the jugular. Oh god. It nicks you for oh, twelve points of damage. <laughs> Oh, I'm it unconscious. Right in the throat. <laughs> 12, 12 points. It's, it's, it's literally, it's literally gone for your throat. And I've had enough. I'm unconscious. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot the cat. I'm gonna shoot the cat. No, no, it's upstairs. I'm... You can't even see it. I'm gonna come upstairs after I hear the commotion. Well, I've already, I'm, I've already sent demon cocks. So, no, I've gone up there. I'm, I'm sending. I've gone up there. I've, I went there first, so I'm gonna try and speak to the cat first. Well, have you sorted it out or not? Well, I don't know. We've got to, we're up to fault me. I've gone before you. I want to speak to so, it. You guys basically get upstairs and you see Tren lying on the floor, spluttering, holding her neck in a pool of blood. And the cat <laughs> is standing over her, licking up the blood. <laughs> okay. Hey, Jim, don't fucking talk to it. Just shoot it. I want to speak to it. I want to speak to it. Shoot the cat. Oh, my God. Could I do a forward <laughs> roll and shoot it? <laughs> I want to speak to it. Alright, Jim goes first. Go on. Come on, Jim. Go on, Jim. Alright, what uh, do I do a roll do I roll a dice? Uh, what does your spell say? It says roll a dice. Okay. Um it says speak with animals R. Um speak verbally with and understand beasts for duration, interaction limited by intelligence of beasts. And then mm -hmm. it's got save, dash, school, div, time, one eight, range self, comp VS, duration ten minutes. BP, page 277. Tell you what, roll a d20 for me. Right. And we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. I rolled a 15, and uh, I think it's like using my fucking intelligence or something, doesn't it? My intelligence is minus three. That's shit. <laughs> Why is my intelligence minus three? So uh, you can communicate with it, Jim, but just barely. Neither of you are very intelligent, it seems. Yeah, apparently. Why am I a big dummy? I don't like this. From, oh. from what you get, he, you basically just understand that it's scared and it, it, it can't. It's basically gone into fight or flight mode. Oh, okay, so it's not, it's not it's an a, evil cat. 
It's not an evil cat, but it is it is fighting for its life. It's fearing it. It's fearing for its life. It's scared well, I don't it's gonna blame die. It. Basically everybody who's ever seen Pate's fucking died. <laughs> you, um, you start thinking you're reaching through the memories um, of this cat and you're talking to it. And it looks like that a couple of from what the cat understands, there are two shadowy figures that came in and took its owner oh. away. Oh. Well, can I speak to it and be like, we're friends, calm down, we are friends, we mean it's, you no uh, harm. It's, it's still panicking, still completely panicking. Okay, It, well. uh, it sees you, it's just hissing at you. Trend's got about a minute and a half left to live, by the way. Her jugular has been cut. Okay, I've also got animal friendship as well. You do. So can I do that to try and be like friends with it? You can attempt to. Yep, I'll, I'll attempt. I'll attempt to be friends with it. And I uh, roll the seven, which is then a four, I guess. <laughs> you're, uh, you're trying your best, but you can't. Yeah. Okay. Well, well I'm obviously gonna. I'm obviously gonna heal Trent. Yes. Yeah. You've got to heal. What are you gonna? Can. What are you gonna do first? This cat is currently still scratching at the air and hissing at you. As as noticed, you come into the room. Oh, well, I want to shoot it, but um, actually, yeah. Can I shoot the cat and heal Trent? Or do I just do one thing? You can do both. I'd say you have about two two turns or so, roughly, before Trent dies. She's currently gasping for air. You can see that her she's kind of oh, turning. I wanna, can I, I unleash my one. cock? I want to shoot the cat. I want to shoot the cat with a crossbow, and then I want to heal Trent. And I'll okay. set Dakar on. I'll set. I'll set. I'll set Demon Cock on the. On the go for the. Go for the shot then, Demi. Oh dear. Murdering an innocent house. Thirteen. Cat. Thirteen, and then. Yeah, you hit it. Use your shield, yeah. Fuck's sake. No, no, I want to heal Trent. I, I want to shoot it. You could have used your shield, it. Dimmy. It's a cat. It's a lovely little cat. You could have just hit it with your shield. It can't have that many hit points, Jim. Yeah, but there's none that you kill it, is there? I want to kill the cat, yeah. <laughs> uh, mm. It doesn't tell me. No spells. What the damage? It's damage. On floors, background. So is it eight points of damage? Is it like a? So it would be a damage. It would be a damage roll plus. Oh, where is it? It'd be under your weapons, Dimmy. First level cantrips. Let me let me have a look. It will be on the first page, Dimmy. Let's have a look. It'll be on, on the, the first, first page. page. Heavy crossbow. It does one d ten plus one. Piercing one, one D10. Okay, it's a D10. It's on the first page. D10. Four plus one. So five. five points of damage. Yeah. So you uh, you pull the trigger at least on the uh, the heavy crossbow, and the uh, the bolt goes straight through the cat's head and it uh, it pins it down to the floorboard as you uh, you hear a, a one last soft meow as it uh, as it fades soft to death. Soft meow. <laughs> Monster Dimmy. Trinity is dying. Uh, yeah, but you could have just hit it with your shield and knocked it out. His face it's a is cat. completely his face is completely petrified and uh, his eyes are wide open, his mouth is open. As he's, uh, as he's been pinned through the, the top of his forehead into the ground. Fucking Good. hell. Oh, then, uh, then can I heal... Can I heal Trent? Yeah. Run up and heal Trent. So I'll run up. Uh... Trent at the moment is gasping for uh, for air and clawing at her throat. <laughs> oh, God. Can I do anything at this point? You can try. What do you want to do? I'll teabag the cat. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, chat told me to. <laughs> so what are you? What are you doing? Are you gonna heal her? Yeah, I'm gonna heal her. Yeah. Go on. Uh, I don't know how to. Uh... So on your character sheet, if you go down to your spells. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look at your spell sheet. Uh, it'd be cure wounds. What is? Yeah, yeah, cure wounds. Yeah, I'll do that. So how, oh, how, how, do you, how do you heal Trent? Explain it to me. She's currently on the floor. Creature. 
She's currently on the floor, <laughs> lying there, Dimmy. She's had a jugular slice. She's turned gonna... blue. She's about to pass out. She's turned cyan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like get down on my knees. I'm gonna wrap <laughs> both hands around her neck. Uh, my eyes, my eyes roll back in my head, like so you can only see the whites of my eyes, like the Undertaker. And then I'm gonna like, like just bang. Oh God! You uh, you heal her. It's effective. How much do you heal her for? This doesn't sound uh, like a healing thing. <laughs> The cure wounds is 1d8 plus 1d8. What? 1d8 plus 1d8. Oh and then it says slash SL. So do I oh, do I roll 1D8. two 1d8s? No, no, no. So it's 1d8 plus your wisdom modifier. <laughs> okay, so the d8 so, is... So a d8 plus, it's a d8 plus two. That's okay, so I rolled, a, I rolled an 8 on the d8. 10, 10. You heal her for 10 points of damage. <laughs> yeah. Tren, you're stabilized. Oh, look, Tren's got the dead cat in her arms. I, as, as soon as I wake up from my death, I just instantly say, fuck you for killing the cat, and I go pick it up, and I'm just cuddling it like, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you're looking through it, and you're thinking through it, and it was Dimrath's only choice. It wasn't. He could have hit it with a shield and knocked it out. Yeah, yeah. What a it monster! It wasn't his only choice. Dim, Dim, you're not helping. What a monster, Dimrath! Why did you? Why did you kill the cat, mate? Why did you kill yeah, the cat? Yeah, why did you kill the cat? Because I wanted to save Tato. <laughs> and why did you kill the cat? I wanted you to, kill to save Tato. You've got a shield. Don't You've give got me a hard time him. about it. Don't, like, honestly, like, I can't let any of you guys. It die. is. Um, <laughs> it, it is. It is a sad okay. moment, but there are casualties in war. Yeah. Okay. 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 You you had you had good intentions. I could have let Chen die. Yeah. Fair enough. What are you on about? It was a hard choice, no matter what. Yeah. Do do abyssal chickens get hungry? Yes. No. You are not eating that. <laughs> you are not eating this cat. <laughs> You guys are currently in the uh, the bedroom, so the bathroom, and there's still not a sign of uh, of bathroom. You find that very odd. There's not a sign of a bathroom. 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 No, it's not is odd. We've seen like his blood every. We've seen blood everywhere. It's not odd at all. No, we've seen blood. There, there's no sign of it. Is. Well, it probably is, isn't it? It's his shop, and he's not here. <laughs> is it his cat? Is it his cat? What did the uh, What did the cat say to you before it passed away, Jim? It said, uh, hello, <laughs> hello, I'm Bathin's cat. <laughs> when you were, when you were going through it, uh, when you were going through his visions, what did it, what did it tell you had happened? It said that two shadowy men had come in and killed people or taken them. Taken them? Something, I think it was taken, taken them. them. Taken them. They've been taken. Oh my god, Dimrath is whatever he's called, Liam Neeson. <laughs> So you start putting two and two together, and Barthen has been taken, and they've cl tried to clean up any trace of, uh, of what's gone on here and board up the windows just to get people to not suspect what's happened. I think we need to go tell Theat what we found. And Marcus as well. We need to tell Marcus. You know, and Marcus. Know, Fiat, yeah, we need to tell Marcus. <laughs> we definitely no. need to see Marcus again. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> Marcus does love you, Dimmy. He loves Dimmy. <laughs> um, I just, I, I'm still holding the cat. I hope you know this. And I'm walking downstairs. Have you got, you got the stone though, haven't you, Trey? Yeah. Uh, Tato. Yes. Tato, yes. Tato, yeah. Yes. Everybody but, make yeah. a, everybody make an investigation check as you go Ooh. downstairs. What modifier is investigation? Is it on the thing? It's on the sheet. Oh wow, I'm terrible. Everything you need is usually on the first page, unless you're a spellcaster. Oh, I oh my intelligence is plus one. I was looking at Demon Cox intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Right. Well done. Plus one. Uh, plus one. Uh, uh, Eleven. Uh, I rolled a six, and I don't have a uh, thing. You don't find anything, unfortunately, Demi. Six. six. You, uh, I rolled you don't a know 12. something. You rolled a twelve. What did you roll, Jim? Eleven. Eleven. Um, 
trend, something catches your eye. There's a, there's a glinting. There appears to be a, a lockbox on, uh, on <gasps> the stand. I don't say anything, and a dead cat on one shoulder, I just start walking towards it. <laughs> you walk towards the lockbox. Oh, is, is it lock pickable? It's not locked. <gasps> oh, I just open it. Mm -hmm. I mean, why why would things need to be locked in a, in a store? I don't know. The money? <laughs> Could be. You, um... You open it up and you find in it some maps. Oh, maps! <laughs> Exciting stuff! <laughs> there appears to be dwarven writing on it. Dwarves! Maps. That was the letter, was something about dwarves, wasn't it? And maps. Yeah. Was it maps? Yes, yes, dwarves and maps. It was. Uh... And, uh, see, trend, yeah, it trend says. Pulls it... out the extract. It says, see that any Dwarven maps in their possession are delivered to me with haste. Oh, baby. So, delivered to who? Delivered to who? Yeah, oh, Aldrich. To, to Glastaff. To, to Glastaff. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Glastaff's employer, yeah. But he's the guy we're, like, chasing, he's right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got to... Are we actually well, chasing him, or is it, like... Because obviously we got to sort this graveyard thing out at some well, point. Well, yeah, but yeah. So Albrecht is the guy who's like in charge of Glastaff, right? Who's in charge of the red caps, whatever they're called. I can't remember. Um, Lord, wants, Lord wants to know if the... Uh... Albrecht is uh, Albrecht is code. You uh, put this two and two together. Albrecht was code for Lano, who is Glastaff. Oh, okay. So Al Lano and Glastaff are all the same people. I didn't put two and two together. To the, uh, to, to the red brands, Lord Albrecht is uh, is Glastaff. Right. Um, so so Glastaff wanted these dwarf maps, and now we've got them, or Trend's got them. Or... And then their employer yeah. wanted them. Yeah. What you, um, what would what would a bar or what would a, like a shopkeep have to do with have to do with like maps and all of this. It seems kind of interesting. You find that mm. interesting. Um, you don't actually know why. So maybe okay. the strangers gonna... came and, and sold the maps to him. I'm going to walk I over think... this train. I'm going to walk over this train. I'm going to lay my hand on the, the top of the cat and I'm going to grab the bolt and I'm going to go, I'm sorry. I'm going to whisper, I'm sorry. And I'm going to yank. <laughs> As it goes, snap, crack, and Pop I'm gonna pull the bolt out of the cat's hat, head, mm. and I'm, I'm gonna snap, I, and just put the bolt on the floor, and I'm gonna turn my head down, and turn around and walk away. <laughs> turn around. Thanks, Simra. <laughs> you can uh, turn around. <laughs> you can have a you can have an inspiration point marker on your feet, Dimra. <laughs> Oh, Are I mean, there any can, shovels? You can re-roll at any point, any roll you want. Can you have more yeah, than one inspiration shovels. point or not? Yeah, I grab a shovel out. and I start, I just go out front. I don't care if anyone sees me and I just start digging a grave for this cat. <laughs> Absolutely fine. You start doing it. Okay. You dig a grave for the cat. Okay, well, we'll all get out, right? And then say... Let's, after this, let's go and report it to, well, there's apparently no authorities in this village, there's just... Oh, there is. There's the, uh, the there's the town. town master's office in the middle of the, uh, in the middle of the city. Okay, well, let's go there, the let's go there and report this to the authorities rather than... Wait, 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 wait. Mm, Maybe not. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to go to the authorities and say, oh, I broke into the shop and then I discovered that he was taken after I broke into his shop. You want to go to the police? No, 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 no. How many police are there? Um, you don't know. We're the heroes of this city. They can't, they didn't do shit against the red brands. Mm hmm. Yeah, we're the heroes that broke into a shopkeep and now he's missing we after we broke in. We needed a cyan stone, okay? <laughs> okay, we're gonna go break. We we're gonna go tell the police we broke in and we discovered that he's magically gone after we broke okay, in. Okay, let's just go to Fiat. Him. Let's go to Fiat and Marcus. <laughs> good plan. Good plan. Good plan. Okay, finish My burying boy this Fiat cat. You're getting you're gonna get us caught here burying this the cat. 
we're okay let me say some words for this cat okay it was innocent it was an innocent cat it did nothing wrong okay it was scared and it was <sighs> fighting for its life it had its owner go away you and nearly now you killed you say so <laughs> that's okay it is an innocent you cat nearly... it's not innocent it, like, it's innocent you were it was it was innocent it were... was innocent dimrath were... i, I spoke to him cat. i spoke to him he'd seen two people kill his owner he thought we were bad he was fighting for his life it wasn't his How fault be innocent he literally tried to kill her because he, he didn't was, know he, he didn't know she was a goodie he, she, he thought he she was a baddie well is she a baddie well i mean kind of we but... <laughs> <laughs> what can i say <laughs> are there any flowers around as i like i pat the top of the grave with my shovel after burying yeah, it um there's not yeah. much, but there's a couple of dandelions around. Oh my god. I, I pick the dandelions and put them on top of the little pile of dirt with a tear rolling down my cheek. <laughs> oh god. It's a lovely grave. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Right, let's go to the Fiat and Marcus. Okay. <laughs> You, uh, you guys walk back in. Boys. Hello, you, uh, boys. You you, uh, you interrupt as you see Theatre and Marcus at the table, playing a playing a game of chess. Ooh. I'm assuming there's just blood coating all of my. There are. Yeah, clothes. you are covered in blood. Yeah, I just walk up to them and sit down, <laughs> making eye contact. All right, I walk in and say hello. <laughs> um, don't ignore ignore Pate here. She was just assailed by a house cat. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. However, the house cat was Barthen. I can't remember his name already. Um, someone has abducted him and maybe his helper. Does he have a help? I thought he had a helper. Um, two they, uh, men have look, come in. They, they look shocked. Barthen, what what's yeah. happened? Barthen. Yeah, two we men have come. We we tried to buy the stone. We tried to buy we tried to buy the stone, right? We took the stone, we'll pay for it later. And then we noticed there was blood splatters. We looked around, I spoke to the cat psychically, because I'm a wizard ish. And the cat oh, before Wex. He had a cr does he have a crat does he have a cat? Is that Bath? Yes, his, his cat Wex. Oh yeah, his cat Wex, yeah, that's his name. And uh, sadly, he had been stabbed by the assailants, right? The people who broke in and stabbed the cat. And as he was dying, um, he spoke a, to me. Make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. I rolled a one. <laughs> two. <laughs> See, so they're, they're still there. Two. Why didn't you stop them? I fucking had to. They weren't still there. It was just dying after they had been there. They weren't That's there. Take that long to bleed out. Okay, maybe... Uh, some, something doesn't add up here, okay. as, they, uh, as they both stare up at you. Okay, well, the cat had survived, and it attacked it attacked Patea. That's why she's covered in blood, as you can see. So, you killed an innocent cat? Dimrath did. It's not innocent. It was him. not innocent. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and sit on the table, and I'm going to hang my head in shame. <laughs> and, but I'm obviously distraught about killing the cat, but I, I did what I thought I had to do. Dimrath is distraught about killing the cat, that's why I lied. I'm sorry for lying. Won't happen I, I did what I thought I had to do, I genuinely... I cannot bear to see one of you guys... Uh, like, die or... I was, I was trying to calm the cat down, and then next I know the cat's dead and I woke up, but... <laughs> They, uh, mm. they start staring over at you in, in absolute dismay at the fact <laughs> that you had, uh, you had killed Barton's prized cat. <laughs> Wex. Mm. Yeah, they let us aside. Did you, uh, did you at least get what you came for? We found a sign yeah. storm. We'll pay, yeah, we we'll got pay the for it later. Right. Did you find anything else? Uh, we I found, found Ooh, something. Should we tell them? Should we tell them? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I think so. So, Fiat, you know how we told you that there was a, a article in a, in a, what was it? It was a journal at the manor after we stormed it. Yes. Well, we found a piece of paper with the same symbol at the, at the, uh, at the shop. 
he, uh, Which we thought you, you was show it to him and he, he looks at it and he, uh, he compares it to his notes. So I'm assuming you pulled out all of your information on it. Yeah, yeah. So he uh, he looks at it and the the new the new uh, corner of it it has N A on the uh, on the side of it signed <laughs> and then it's ripped off. <laughs> he um he starts thinking and he puts two and two together and under his breath he, uh, he whispers Nazar to himself. Okay. Um, and that's not all. <laughs> As we were leaving, I opened a. I, what was it? it? It wasn't a chest. It was like a lockbox. Lock box. Lock box, yeah, yeah lockbox. And I found some maps in there. And I'm not. Sh I think they're the same maps that are referenced in this, in this, uh, excerpt from the diary. So he's uh he's looking at it, and uh, he instantly recognizes what the maps are. There are two maps there. One is of a old ruins of a place called the Ruins of Thunder Tree which is just to the east of Netherwinter. And then to the east of Thundertree, there is the Cragmore Castle. Now, you uh, you remember from your encounter, the first encounter, when you were clearing those goblins out of the cave, they were Cragmore goblins. Very exciting. And that is, uh, that is Cragmore Castle. Okay. Mm. So... What do you think then, Theach? Yeah, he crosses his arms and uh, he explains that he has, he has no idea, unfortunately. I mean, you've, you've got to track down the leads. First things first, deal with Agatha, appease the uh, the aspect of death, and then we'll figure out where, where Barthen has gone. Okay. What time is it? Uh, it's currently about 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. You've got a you guys whole haven't day. Yet. We've got a whole day. Yeah, well, let's, let's yeah. get some sleep slash meditation. Yeah, I think we should take Meditation. a long rest and then. We meditate. We don't sleep, do we? Elves don't sleep. They just meditate for some hours. But I'm an orc. Well, you've got to sleep. Yeah, so we should take a long rest and then get ready for the evening. Yeah. And and then get ready to go out. Yeah, I did take a ton of damage from the rolling. To be fair. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not full health either. I took about ten points. Of <laughs> Rolling into a bush and smashing into a window. <laughs> so, uh, Marcus, Marcus goes back into the back and he comes out with a uh, with a tray essentially full of hot chocolate. Oh, not oils. <gasps> no, none chocolate. of them oils. I don't want them oils. Let's have some hot chocolate. I'm up for he, some uh, hot he, chocolate. He puts, he puts one in front of each of you. Yours, yeah. uh, Dimmy, noticeably. Has a larger amount of whipped cream and some marshmallows on top. Oh, I will guzzle that none down. The, none of the others have whipped cream or marshmallows. Just yours. Wow. No, I will. You, uh, I'll you, say, you don't, you don't think much of it, but you appreciate it. I will, yeah, I'll say thank you. So I'm, I'm still despair. I'm still despairing over killing the cat. I didn't want to kill the cat. I just had to kill the cat. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I am. How dare you? He, need, he needed to die. Like, Tren needed to live, basically. <laughs> yes, he didn't need to die, but Tren needed to live, so it's okay. Oh, yeah. well, outside of the game, I think it was the right thing to do. I, If it was me, I would have killed the cat. I would have knocked it out with the shield. The shield is... The, the quick reaction French is kiss. the dispatch of the threat. I would have killed the cat. Oh, okay. I would have I would have hugged the cat until it calmed down. Until it killed you. Until it Somebody literally killed you. Like Will Smith hugged the dog in the end of I Am Legends. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Talk to it, then knock it out. They were the right. That was the right thing, right? I'd talk to it first, yeah? Talk it was, to it. It was angry. It got Try and be reasonable, life, talk to it. Then yeah. if that fails, it's, knock it out. It's a feral animal. It's a feral animal. Yeah, yeah but it, you can that, still talk to it. I was still, that was still right, wasn't it? It was reasonable, talk to it first. Point, at no, that so point, Jim, last week feral. you were like, kill, 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 everything. And this week you're like, oh. Give me half an hour. <laughs> 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 Give me a few more pina coladas and I will kill the cat instantly. <laughs> okay, I, I just go. I just go walk upstairs and just lay down, kind of he, crying um, a little bit. <laughs> Marks explains to you that he's uh, he's gone and taken the liberty of cleaning your guys' rooms. Oh, and, thank uh, you, Marcus. And he's he's upgraded you for all the all the good work you've done. He's upgraded you some nicer suites as they've uh, as they've become available free of nice. charge. Nice. Oh, yeah, wow. he gives you each a new key. You have your own room. Glorious. Wow. Mm. Now he says, "Off with you. I've uh, I've got a game to finish." As, oh. he, as he sits down next to Fiatch. 
I shall go to my room and meditate thoroughly. <laughs> so, Jim, you walk up to your room and uh, you are greeted by room number six on your key. Oh. Mm. You walk into the room, Jim, and uh, it's a nice room, ordained with nice black and uh, and yellow uh, carpentry. It's a, it's a really, really nice room, and there's a, a little cocktail bar, from what you see, in the corner in the globe. not be meditating. <laughs> it's a nice... It, it, this room is a single bed. It's not a double bed, but it's a, it's a nice bed. Okay. You know, it's en suite as well. Is there any pina coladas at this uh, little cocktail bar? Are there any pina coladas? You uh, you have a look, and there there appears to be an ice bucket with some ice as well. And do you reckon you could you can make a pina colada? I think I'll make some pina coladas. <laughs> it's seven in the morning. Let's fucking go. <laughs> right, Dimmy, are you going upstairs? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, well, I need to sleep. I actually need to sleep. And... So you go upstairs and uh, and you look on your room key and you have room number zero, Demi. You have the suite room. Oh, glorious. <laughs> Pardon it's, me, uh, it's actually got two large oak double doors that have been banded with gold handles. And you uh, it's very, very fancy. You push it open and it leads into this large, luxurious room with a nice circular tub that could fit about three, four people in it. A nice double bed, a changing station, and uh, and a bar that's been built into the wall. You walk over to the bed, and there's, uh, there's a nice selection of bath bombs, fragrances, and some nice little chocolates that have been left there. Mm. <laughs> Not all well, that, is he, Marcus? <laughs> I, I, guess, I guess I'll take a bath. I'll take you, a bath. You, uh, there's a little note there on the uh, next to the bath bombs. Do you read it? I'll, I'll read the note. I'll read the note. It's, uh, it doesn't have much on it. It's just have a good night's rest. And then at the bottom, dash M. <laughs> Lock the door before you get in the bath, Dimmy. <laughs> I will, I will. And I'll string my crossbow. Well. <laughs> string your crossbow. I'll string my crossbow. I'll, I'll, I'll slip the latch down. <laughs> and then I'll get into the bath. And I'll feel bad about shooting the cat in the head. Get the crossbow out. <laughs> it's a it's a question of morality, um, as you're sitting there in the bath, oh, and you kind of work through the feelings and the emotions of it, <laughs> and you realise that in that split second you had to act, or your uh, or your party member was dead, and uh, you come to the conclusion that no matter what anybody else says, you did the correct thing, and you acted with justice and intent. Justice. Yeah. You up you upheld your job as a cleric. Sometimes as a cleric, it's you, you have to do not the nicest of things. Sometimes that means putting people or things down. But uh, but you're very adamant that you you made the correct choice. Good. Prince Charming Dimmy. Friend. Thinks he was adamant. Gren, you uh, you walk upstairs and you are in suite number nine. Hey. You uh, you walk into the suite and you uh, you go in through this nice single door, and within the room there are lots of mirrors and shiny objects. <laughs> in your room. There's uh, lots of little bits of jewellery that have uh, that have been laid around. There's some nice candles and candle holders. That are, that are banded with jewels. There's lots of mirrors, and you have a nice double bed. Oh wow! Look at this. You also have uh, an ensuite with a single-sized tub. Your tub actually being carved from an old oak tree. Mm. Mm. No bath bombs for you, unfortunately. But you are. Uh, you do find a little chocolate by the uh, the bedside table. Oh, chocolate. Man, yes. I've been shafted here. I'm glad I can't see other people's rooms. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. It is. It's essentially, uh, it goes on and uh, the day goes on. You're just trying to sleep through it the best you can. Uh, anybody want to do anything during the day when you should be sleeping? No, no, I'll drink a bit and then meditate. So, Because Dimmy needs more sleep than us. So I'll just drink, have a few drinks, then meditate. Sounds good. We'll wait for those two to uh, to come back. Yeah. But, yeah. You guys are doing all right. <laughs> it's not too bad. Yeah. You only killed one cat so far. 
Yeah, that's all. That's all right, isn't it? Somebody far more innocent than anybody in in our in our <laughs> adventuring group. <laughs> <laughs> we are the baddies thus far. I mean, how does your how does your character feel about what's happened? Me. Both of you. Oh, I'm devastated. It was just an innocent cat. Like even it could have killed me, and I would have died a happy death. Okay. Hmm. Mm. I I I think. I think Dimrath was was you know a bit excessive, but at least his intentions were good. He did he did a bad thing for the right reasons, didn't he? So not bad. Does my cock get a bed? By the way, in this room, he does not. Unfortunately, sad. I'll send him back to the demon realm then, and you can you can get some kit yeah, there. Yeah, he heads back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Dimrath. Right, well. Yeah. I'm having some uh, rum. And some rum. Very nice. Yes. I've got some Coke Zero. Delicious. Nice. I'm having rum and Coke, so, yep. <laughs> I've already drunk over half of this bottle. Holy shit. I'm <laughs> literally down <laughs> to the, down to there. <laughs> oh my god, I like I'm gonna have to buy more Malibu in future. Jesus. <clears throat> oh. When I was at university I would habitually drink an entire bottle of vodka. Glorious. Lovely. Mm. I liked I liked getting very drunk when I was at university. Yeah. But now I've stopped. But then pina coladas are the best drink, so I don't mind. I don't mind drinking pina coladas every week. It's ah, pretty pina good. Pina coladas are alright. As long as you enjoy it. Oh, that's a great call by Stall. Let's get let's get calcium back for a minute. <laughs> great contribution from calcium as always. <laughs> Play the game of what's in Dimmy's fridge. Hmm. Bananas in cages, probably. Probably. Bananas in pyjamas. Oh, we've got a dog now. That's a big dog. It's a very big <laughs> dog. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the dog that got murdered, episode one? No, no, that yeah, would never yeah, have been murdered. <laughs> he came back in the afterlife and... Um, I, I found see. Him. Yeah, no, no, no. I went into the pits of hell after feeling bad, and I pulled his soul back to our... <laughs> Realm. <laughs> Us wish to roleplay for him. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, here we go. Calcium can go now. <laughs> Sorry, that's no that worries. Problem. Is... What kind of jewelry is in my room? Is it like necklaces and earrings or what? Some nice earrings. Oh. Are you gonna steal them? <laughs> can I can I just start trying them on? <laughs> yeah, you just, you uh you try them on, you stand in front of the mirror. And they they Are look any... very fetching on you. Are there any that like just catch my eye that are? Uh, they all catch your eye. Ah. <laughs> Everything catches your eye. <laughs> I mean, tell me, you you have a look around the room. What do you uh, what do you find that you like? I think I find a pair of gold earrings with like a nice little ruby at the top. Mhm. Mm and they dangle a little bit, but not not too much. <laughs> nice little hoops, you know. Maybe I saw maybe. Hoops. Yeah, maybe, maybe kind of, they give the sense of like a dragon scale, almost. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Delightful. Ooh. 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 Yeah, you, uh, you pick those up, you put them on, they look absolutely lovely on you. Wow. Oh. No. So, yeah. So, uh, the, the day, should I say, slowly, uh, slowly goes by. Um, we heal. We heal. Do I heal? You heal. You get all your spell slots back, or do you heal back up to full? And spell slots. Yeah. Speaking of spell slots, right? I noticed, uh, Faulty, that you yeah. gave me a spell that doesn't really do a whole lot, and I looked at the spells, and I found that it was a firebolt spell. And does the firebolt spell count as your attack for the turn if you use it, or does it yes. like? Is it oh, okay? I, th I realize I thought that was what it would be, but it's still quite. Well, you a want good to try attack. and use it as a bonus action. So could I? Well, yeah, but I would like to do that. But also, could I have the firebolt spell instead of the spell that I've got? I don't really care. Well, which spell, spell have you got? I've got it. Some spell. Uh, it's like aim well or something. Sure strike, something like that. Sure strike is brilliant. 
Yeah. Is it? Yeah. You used it. I swear you used it against a troll. Just yeah, see that rubbish. Okay. I'll no, keep sure, it. sure. It's up to you. But sure, strike is amazing. Okay, I'll keep it then. Sorry. That's all right. Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. So I won't be an idiot. If you, if you, you want to get rid of it, if you want to get rid of it, you can. We've uh, already got five of them. Dimrath told me not to get rid of it. Remember that, Jim, you've also got an advantage against beasts as your oh. favourite enemy. Oh. Your favourite terrain is ice. Hey, you should have shot the cat, oh. Jim. And whenever you make an attack with a ranged weapon, you add plus two to it because you've got an archery fighting style. Okay. I just had to go away and have a little cry about the cat. Yeah. Sorry. Right. You did it, Dim <laughs> Dimrath. <laughs> yeah, I went away and had a little cry. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Good. Yeah, it um, <laughs> it goes through. Let me find what you've got. Why aren't you seeing the spell? True Strike. Yeah. Jim, True Strike is a cantrip. It doesn't use any of your spell slots. You yeah. can use it literally whenever. Yeah. But I don't know, it doesn't seem that useful, but it's you, okay. You should, and anytime you go into combat, you can use it as a bonus action, so you should just spam it. Yeah, I'm trying to, but okay. It just didn't seem very effective. Um, you, just need to, you just need to use it, so when you go to fight somebody, or you get into combat, bonus action before you attack. Uh, yeah, how much it. does it add? Um, you get advantage. What does that mean? Give it a plus two. So essentially, to every attack you do, Jim, as long as plus you've got two. that on as well, you get plus four. Because remember, you've got favoured style as archery. Yeah, it just doesn't seem that good to me, to be honest. Anyway, sorry, let's, what are we doing here? What time is it? What time is it? It's, um, it's gotten to the point where it's about, I'd say, midnight at the moment. Gone so you've slept all the way through. It's Chico time. It's Chico time. Oh, life can get mysterious if you take things too serious. <laughs> you, uh, you won't know Chico time. Sorry, Trent. Chico time. Chico was a guy in, like, Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> he was incredible. Was it Britain's Got Talent? Yeah, I don't know what it was, but he made a lot of money. Yeah. He was so good. He was so good. Yeah. He wasn't even good at anything, but he was so good. <laughs> it's Chico time. <laughs> he was like a yak herder or something, wasn't he? Well, it looks like Trent's a yak herder. I don't know what, the, <laughs> I don't know what that animal is, but it's massive. <laughs> it's not a dog, is it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like a wolf, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the size of its head. Yeah, it's fucking big. Jesus Christ. It's Koda. <laughs> Koda's the best boy, okay? <laughs> Hi. Okay, you, go, you guys come down and it's about it's about midnight or so. People have uh, filtered out the bar slowly. There's a couple of people still in there who are, uh, who are like slowly filtering their way out, essentially, as, uh, as this is happening. Uh, are, we, yeah. are, we, are we doing this without Kaz, or...? I guess so. I guess he's. What's happened to Kaz? Is is there a in-game reason? Um, he's got food poisoning, unfortunately. Uh, it wasn't so, uh, hot chocolate, was it? It wasn't hot chocolate, though. Because um, that hot bad... chocolate was delicious. <laughs> uh, Marcus uh, over here is he's saying that. Yeah, gives you a little wink. <laughs> he loves the hot chocolate. Just I'm going to catch the wink. And... <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, Timmy. No, uh, no I'm not. I'm not catching the wind. I'm not catching the wind. Yeah. Marcus, uh, Marcus sees you guys as you are. Uh, I'm assuming you're sitting down at the table, right? Yeah. Yep. Theatch is just sitting over on his own reading a newspaper at the moment. Enjoying um, his I... dinner. I go sit at the same table as Theatch. <laughs> Yeah, I want to know what, what what's Fiat cheating for dinner. That's what I want to know. Langustine legs. You really like knowing what people eat, don't you, Dimmy? I've noticed yes. that. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not just Dimmy. Dimraf also Dimraf. likes to know what people eat. And, yeah, yeah, I've noticed that. I've it's noticed. all it's the orc in me. Like I just like, <laughs> you know, like, like orcs orcs thrive on banquets. Uh, okay. True. So yeah, he's uh, he's eating langustines at the moment. Is that like a crab? Slash it's a crustacean, yeah. Yeah. Has he got garlic with it as well? He has garlic butter as well. Whoa. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. Marcus uh, Marcus comes out and he plonks some food in front of you guys. You guys have ribs tonight for dinner. Oh, mm. baby. What, 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 what,
one big man. Oh, 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 oh. can you imagine eating mammoth ribs? It's like, about the size oh. of your, the full length of your arm, Demi. Jesus. Four. Oh, Four. man. As he, he comes and sits next to you, and he uh, starts eating his as well. He comes and he sits next to Dimrath. Yeah. Yeah, he shouts <laughs> over, you two come over here. As, uh, as you two, I'm assuming, oblige, right? Yeah, yeah, cool. I do, anyway. Trent? Yeah. Yeah, yep. You coming over? Yeah. So, yeah, you're all sitting down eating, and uh, he starts asking, so are you, uh, you ready for this evening? Oh, yeah, I was born yeah. ready. Is this, is, this, is this really happening, is it? Are we doing this? Doing we just it. need to go wander in the forest, right? We got That's the stone. I got the powder. I got the powder. So got the powder. Yeah. We got the stone. And maybe she's reasonable, right? It doesn't she? Doesn't have to be evil. Yeah. She's just messing with the natural order of things. It doesn't mean that she's actually evil herself, right? So she's blatantly yeah, yeah. evil. She's blatantly. Evil. She might not be evil, Dimrath. She might not be. You know what I mean? She could just be a, a tortured soul, or whatever. I don't are know. We, are we all not? So uh, yeah. he just goes. <laughs> He, he basically explains to you where you need to go, so it's just the east of the Tribor Trail, which you actually uh, came in, so you head north. Are we gonna the, need are we gonna planet. need like special weapons? Mmm, that's a good yeah, point. Yeah, he sighs and he says like, he, he doesn't know unfortunately. Yeah, maybe you should look for special weapons in that provisions place. What if they have magic weapons? It's a bit late now, unfortunately. It is a bit late now, isn't it? Yeah, Fuck we're stupid. Fuck we're stupid. <laughs> How are we gonna actually hurt this thing? I don't know. We're not gonna hurt it. We'll we'll talk. We'll speak to it. My demon cock might be able to sort her out anyway. <laughs> oh, now you want to talk to things instead of kill everything? Yeah, yeah. Who are you? Who are you? Uh, look, I was a what little bit. What have you bit, done? I was a little bit tipsy you? last week. You? Okay, I was a little bit tipsy. Okay. <laughs> so uh, so Nobody yes, Lord, they are. They are getting all this for free. They are the um. They are the saviors of Vandalin. They have. Reduced and removed the uh, the red brands from the <laughs> from the little town and cleared it out. They are treated as heroes by everybody, and as such, will uh, will get anything they need within reason as long as it's uh, for the betterment of Fandolin. Very nice. There is something I need for the betterment of Fandolin, but I'll wait until after we've got rid of the Agatha. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all sitting there enjoying your um. You're enjoying your last meal. Uh, oh, last, last meal! meal. <laughs> your last, last meal. There's some, meal. Uh, oh, th there's, some salt and, there's some salt and pepper on the table. There's some nice little sides. There's some sweet corn. There's some some, uh, sweet some corn. rustic some rustic potato crap. I pick up I pick the up the sweet corn and throw it on the ground. Are you actually going to do that? Yeah, I'm going to say, is this a joke? Are we a joke to you? Whether saviors are fandolin, you give us sweet corn. I quite like sweet corn. Fuck off, dude. I mean, sorry. Are you actually going to do it? Yeah, why not? Throw it on the ground. Orcs are well known for liking sweet corn. Okay, I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. I hate best, corn. Probably best you didn't, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you would have uh, you would have faced Marcus's ire. <laughs> oh, I don't want anything to do with Marcus, so yeah, yeah. I won't. I'll just keep my head down. Won't attract any of Marcus's anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> he, um, he hears you talking about not liking sweet corn, Jim, and he sees you're a little bit disgruntled and says, "Unfortunately, it's the it's the best we've got at the moment." It's yeah, either that potatoes? or you're more than welcome to some gruel. Some potatoes. Ah, yes, yeah. just a minute. He, uh, as, as he shouts to, the, uh, shouts, shouts to the back for the chef, and the chef brings out a nice a nice uh, silver so a silver tray full of potato gratin oh. and, uh, and plonks potato. it on the table in front of you. Potatoes. That's much better than sweet corn. Thank you, Marcus. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Marcus. Um, you know what? Tomorrow, if we live through tonight... <laughs> I want waffles made out of potatoes. <laughs> the, uh, the the you, chef. You the, mean the, the chef just waffles. potato waffles? Yeah, they're waffly versatile. <laughs> <laughs> the the oh, chef just grunts though. and shakes his head as he walks away, <laughs> cursing to himself. <laughs> He's an angry little chef. Do you not have potato <laughs> waffles in America? Oh, Is that actually a thing? Yeah, it's a thing in England. Yeah, yeah. bird's eye potato yeah. waffles. Yeah. That was the <laughs> advert. Bird's eye potato waffles. They're waffly versatile. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty good, to be fair, Chum. Yeah. I've never had them before. <laughs> They're like a school dinner thing. Like, yeah. Uh, just, uh... 
I imagine they'd be like hash browns, you know, like hash browns put in like a potato or a waffle. Yeah, maker. similar to hash browns. Yeah, yeah essentially. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, okay. That's what I want tomorrow. Yeah. I'll, I'll send you some potato waffles. <laughs> so as, as you guys uh, as you guys are eating and enjoying your ribs, your potatoes, and your corn, Marcus says, "Can I uh, can I interest you in, in something for this evening?" Oh yes, I believe yes, it, you uh, can, it might help you a little bit. As he, uh, oh, as he pulls wow. out another little, he pulls out another vial uh, oh, from, yeah. his, from his satchel bag <laughs> and a little dripper. You were just fucking us with us last week, Bill. So what if you're fucking with us again, Marcus? You ras you rascal! What is this gonna do for us? He uh, laughs and gives you a wink. I say it's, 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 it's better than liquid courage, is what it is. What I'll is it, Marcus? Double. No, 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 Patea, no. What is it? What is it, Marcus? What is as, it? As, as you're saying this, going, what is it? What is it, Marcus? He's walking over to Patea, and the, uh, he gently puts his hand on the back of your head, Patea, and pulls your head backwards so you're, uh, you're facing I slap air. it out of his hand. He gets his little, he gets his little dropper. I slap it out of his hand. To... I'm going to attempt to slap it out of his hand. Make, oh, a, yeah. make a dex check. Yep. Yeah, man. Come on. The, the guy's a fucking freak. Sorry, slight of hand. Slight shot, of hand. Shot, 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 shot. <laughs> 12, 15. Fifteen. Unfortunately, Marcus gets a natural twenty, Jim. And before you can, uh, before you can say anything, Patea opens up her mouth and he puts in four drops from oh the uh, from the vial. Oh my god! It tastes. It tastes like the sweetest lavender that you have ever tasted. It's Is lavender delightful. sweet. <laughs> Lavender's not usually sweet, but How it much tastes lavender like sweet have you lavender. Tasted? <laughs> I've Marcus. tasted a fair bit I've of lavender. I've tasted a bit of lavender. Yeah. Lavender's yeah. nice. Lavender's good. Have you ever had lavender ice cream? No. Lavender... No. I... Lavender ice cream. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. Lavender it's ice so cream good. is good. Yeah. Marcus, <laughs> last week you gave me three, and tonight you gave me four. So, it wasn't enough last week to where I was tripping to another dimension, so I think we should double the dose. Oh my uh, god, you not just not have. With, uh, you just have. Not with, not with this one. This is, uh, this is a different tincture. As he winks at you. Oh. Okay. He comes up behind you, Dimrath, and puts a hand on your shoulder. For you. What's up, Marcus? Would you <laughs> like some? Yes. I... How much do you want? <laughs> I would like three drops. Oh, he's talking about this stuff still. Yeah, he puts his hand on the back of your head again and uh, and pulls it back. You open up your mouth and he puts three drops into your mouth, Dimmy. I just want to say, like... Basically, Dimrath is sat there and he realizes the severity of the task that we've got ahead of us tonight and fully realizes that this may be his last night and that is why he's accepted the drops. <laughs> because why not? Do you know? <laughs> uh, that's fair. That's, no, that's completely fair. That's why, because I, I think this is going to be a very big night. If I could give you another inspiration, Demi, I would. But unfortunately, you've already got one. Good role playing, though. I appreciate it. Thank you. So, uh, so you have the drops. To you, Demi, it's a bit odd. It tastes like synthetic banana. Aged banana. Aged or banana. Free range? I I'd say it's banana. More aged banana. Free than free range. range. <laughs> banana ice cream's my favorite. Free range. <laughs> <laughs> what? Have you yeah. ever had banana ice cream? <laughs> Free range, fucking hell. Much better than lavender. <laughs> he, uh, he walks around to you, Jim. All right, well, I'll say, look, since everyone else has, have, has had it, give me four. Give you four? Yeah. Uh, oh. he, uh, yeah. He pulls your head back and puts four drops into your mouth, Jim. Yeah. Can't pull his head back by the hair, though, can he? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. uh, wow. Marcus pulls out. Marcus pulls Stand out. Stand me in my heart, Dimmy. <laughs> Marcus pulls out a plunger from his, uh, his backpack and sticks it to the back of the head. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he gives you a tea, you chip. It um, <laughs> it tastes like a nice steak. Oh, give me more. Give me more drops. <laughs> you want more? Yeah. Give me. Give me two more. <laughs> Marcus, uh, Marcus laughs and goes, no, no, you, you don't okay. need any more. Okay. <laughs> but if you insist. <laughs> and he, uh, he pulls your head back again and gives you two more drops, Jim. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, well, 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 well. He 
said no to me. Marcus, what is this? I'm playing favorite. <laughs> yeah, he laughs. Do you really want some more? I don't know what it does, so I think I do. Hey, you have to wait 30 minutes. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, sighs and gives you another couple. Oh. Come on, Dimrav, in for a penny, in for a pound. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well have another three made. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm like, although I realise, like, I need to be like as fresh as I can be for this. Because I honestly, guys, I don't think you two realise what we're about to go through. Like, I, I just, and like, it's only my my. It'll be fine, Dimrath. It'll be fine. Don't worry. No, about no, 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 no. Is no, no. Biatch down here with us? Biatch <laughs> is there. Yeah. He is. Uh, he's not partaking. <laughs> Fiatch, do you want to join us in the celebrations for tonight's glory? He, uh, he sighs and goes, alas, I, uh, I cannot. It, uh, it doesn't affect Dragonborn anatomy. Oh. Oh. Jen's Dragonborn. No, I'm not. No, no, she I'm just likes drow. Much. She's drow. Uh, I just love, I love a good dragon, okay? <laughs> <laughs> dragon D's nuts. <laughs> you, uh, Marcus, Marcus, uh... <laughs> Marcus leans over the table and slaps Fiatch on the arm and goes, don't worry, I've got something for you later. Way, I Spicy. I don't think you two realize what we're about to do. What do you mean? It's going to be great. We're going to go, we're going to go on a high walk through the forest and Rath yeah. to go speak to a ghost. This is like the so ultimate... Hi. Yeah, don't as worry about it, Dimrath. This is kicking in. I'm worried. I'm paranoid. You guys, you guys lose half of your HP. Whoa. Oh. All lose of half us. your hit points. Temporarily, you're capped to half of your health points at the moment. That's oh, fucked up. Um, under the effects of it. 7.5. Should I round up or down? What's your maximum health? 15. 20. Well, you should have healed up anyway. So it would be 50. So 7.5. Um, Round Eight. up. Round up. Round up, okay. Yeah. Um, but in return for losing half of your health, you are going to get a plus three bonus to every single stat. Four. Four. As a temporary. Unfortunately, not even Marcus knows what these tinctures do. He just makes them. How does he make them? Um, Is it homemade? You ask, him this. you ask him this, and they're homemade. He makes them out of lots of different roots. And oh god! And stuff that he finds around. Oh, I, I guess I, like I know Marcus. what Dimmy's was made out of. Mm. <laughs> All of his bath bombs as well are natural. Yeah. Are they? Are they I good? They are. I don't know. I don't know. Losing half HP is pretty scary. But it getting is, plus three to everything is pretty good. Is that no, plus three to the modifiers or plus three to the actual total? Plus three to the modifier. Glorious. Yeah, that's pretty Which good. Which is ridiculously broken. Yeah, it is. That's broken. All right, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, Dimrath. So, so we're, we're basically we're half witches. dead. We're basically witches right now. Yeah, can you, you're, can you're can you heal us up, Dimrath, or not? Can, can we get a heal from these? Hit point? Heals? Can I, can I heal or not? Or can no, we you, not? Well, no, you can't because you're capped now. Right, it's not cap. that you've oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he did say yeah. capped. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. that you've. It's not you've lost half your health. It's yeah. you are capped to half of your health. No, now. yeah, I get it. I get it. I'm sorry. I'm drunk. That's all right. It's all good. Uh, yeah, I'm... another another side effect as well. You uh, you do start to feel slightly amped up. Yeah. You're Let's go. Feel, you're starting to feel a little bit more aggressive, like you're uh, yeah. like you're on a big yeah. sugar high. <laughs> <laughs> Don't encourage me. Oh my god. <laughs> He go. He laughs at you and goes, "Right, I'll leave you to it." As he uh, as he slaps you guys on the back and uh, shows you to the door. I'll slap Marcus on the luck. back as well and say, "Let's fucking go!" <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Dimrath. Yeah. Fuck him he, up. He laughs and uh, as you guys trundle off, Are you guys ready to go? You got everything you need. We've got the who's got the cyan yeah. stone? I do. Trend. Trend's okay. got the stone. Is the edge just watching us leave? The actually is, he's got uh, other business to attend to. Oh, what a shame. Can I, can, I just, can I just touch his hand as they walk by on the table? He, uh, he snarls at you a little bit. Wow. And, uh, oh. and as, you, as you walk, you start to walk away. <laughs> he, uh, as you start to walk away, you don't realize he, uh, he goes for a little tap on your uh, for your ass, but he misses it. 
just swipes at the air, <laughs> pretends that nothing had happened. Can I? Can I see? Can I try and notice it? You don't notice it, unfortunately. <laughs> Trent's the only person who does. Sad. <laughs> Sad. I'm just kidding. I just be like, I, I'm not even waiting for anyone. I just walk out of the tavern. Flip me. Right, let's go then. Let's go and hunt down this nice, might be a nice lady, right? She might not be her fault. Might, might, might not be. be her fault. Killing bad, um, doing drugs and killing bad people. All good people, all cats, all so, dogs. So the drugs, <laughs> as you're walking, so you're walking to the Shrine of Luck and you know that the uh, the Shrine of Luck is just to the south side adjacent of the Tribor Trail. So if you keep following the wood lines up from here, you'll uh, you'll get to the correct place. Glorious. We're already here. As you as you're going into the uh, the Shrine of Luck, you do start to you start to hallucinate like before a little bit. Mm. Um, the grave the gravestones are starting to move. The trees look like they're following you. Yo, what's up, Aspect of Death? We're on our way to go get Agatha. Are you walking up to the, uh... You walking yeah. Up to the, crypt? <laughs> yeah. the crypt is, uh... The crypt is locked with a, uh, a stone door. Okay. Daka, Daka, I Daka. Daka. He's obviously there on the map. Daka, Daka, Daka. We might need my cough to defeat this evil. We don't know. I just know. put my hands and I just yell into the crypt like, Don't worry, we got this! <laughs> So you're, uh, you, you're putting your hands onto the crypt, and it, it feels so nice and cold. It's a warm summer's night, so it feels nice and cold on your arms. Like, mm. it's almost pulling you in. Ooh, this is nice. I just kind of, like, rub up against it. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna detect mm. evil on the crypt door. The crypt door is not evil. <laughs> it's just nice and cold. It's hot outside, okay? I'm going I'm to look at Trent rubbing herself on the door and think, <laughs> Ooh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll put my hands on the door as well. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice and cold, Ooh. isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll start yeah, rubbing nice myself on it yeah. as well. Let's go. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, demon cock, get in here! <laughs> <laughs> you are. Uh, you start rubbing yourself up against the door. Dimmy, to you it's really weird. It, uh, it looks like they're becoming one and melding with the door. Whoa, guys. I think maybe. Step, step no, back, you need to come back. touch this door. You need to come touch this door. It is nice. It's 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 a it's a nice brisk like calming. Do we do we even know that chill. they're in the crypt? This is where Aspect of Death Feller is, wasn't this it? Is I, don't, I think Agatha's somewhere yeah. else. I think Agatha's somewhere else. Agatha is to the north side from uh, the oh, research yeah. that you've gathered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, hold on, hold on. I, I, so I continue yelling. I continue yelling. I'm like, don't worry, we got this. We got this. this it's so nice, but I think we need to step away. <laughs> you, uh, okay. you step back from the door. Okay, let's step back and say, yo, Aspect of Death, are you there or what? Nothing happens. Okay. Well, let's go and find Agatha, right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's do go this. find Agatha. Okay. Before before the drops wear off, I think we need uh, yeah. a boost. You know what I just realized? We didn't ask how the stone works. You look through it. You look through it. Look through see. it. Yeah, Faulty said you look through it to see things you couldn't normally see. Oh, okay. 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 So I just have it. Do um. Can I rip part of my, like, tunic or top and just, like, wrap it around my head so I don't have to hold it? Uh, it's on a it's on a necklace. Okay. So you can just hold it up like an eyeglass. Yeah. Okay. So we're holding it. It's got, got a new music on as well. So you're hanging it and you just go. Okay, okay. <laughs> At this point, you're, um, you're going through the forest for about 30 minutes. You're stumbling through. <laughs> you start to feel branches brush up against your shoulders as if they're, uh, they're slowly touching you as you walk through. Mm -hmm. You start to hear whispers coming from the tree lines. Boy, howdy. What are they whispering? Just incoherent whispering. Mm, that's okay, then. Are there any tracks on the ground? There aren't any tracks. Hmm. Looks like this place hasn't been visited for a good, good few years. So we get to like we get to a clearing and there's a big house, is there? 
There is. Can I detect evil? <laughs> there is a lot of evil in this place. Oh shit. Ooh. Maybe she isn't right. friendly then. There's some evil here. I still think we should try to talk to her. No, from the, uh, from the no. east side, you start to hear screaming in the distance, echoes of it, as it fades away slowly. Well, that sounds super friendly, guys. Maybe you, she's uh, just you look, at the, you look at the house, and in front of you, and from the windows, there's a, there's a glowing purple light coming from it. Oh, God. Um, I try and Let's go I try and yeah, I try and stick to the shadows where I can't be seen. Hopefully. In the tree line. Yeah. Okay, where are you going? No, we need we need a plan. We need a plan. So let's let's what 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 do we want to do, guys? Well, do you, you think she's what? in this also cabin? Also can't be seen. Jim's hairline. <laughs> Jesus that was, that was lost many years ago. Maybe you'll find it in the house. They can see it, more or less. You bastard. But yeah, the light spoils it all completely. I'll do that then, then it's okay. Look, you can imagine it's there. No, I've got one, you just can't see it. Is this, do you think, does the powder that you have, if we put it on our weapons, will that like damage spirits is that a thing in no the no the powder just it was powder oh, visibility or whatever yeah. it's appearance. just visible okay mm. so it'll just okay hmm. how much have so you I got dimrath I... how much of this powder have you got dimrath i've got loads mate like, you have uh, one small you have one small satchel's worth enough to throw one load Oh, <laughs> You've got one lord's worth how about we all have one third of a lord's worth so that we've got one more chance with hitting do, it. Wouldn't do much. Wouldn't do much. Okay. You have yeah, just that. basically, yeah. we need Trent to spot it, and then I'll d douse it with the powder, and then okay. I can, and then okay. I can stun it with my So we all need to stick together so that we can see it. So holding the rock up, do we see anything? Fire. Oh, you haven't got fire. So, right Trent, there. you hold the rock up to your eye, <laughs> and the entire, the entire plane of existence almost looks like it's changed. Everything has got a cyan tint to it as you're looking through the stone. And is this purple? See, it's, it's cyan. You uh, you start to see spirits <laughs> floating around. Uh, one outside by the well, a few outside patrolling the tree lines, one sitting crying on the uh, on the wooden stump where they uh, where they chop wood. Do they look like they know each other, or are they just like lost spirits, kind of all just so they happen? They are floating beaver? blue souls. Blue souls. Can I go up to the one that's crying and try and touch it, all, like on the back? Like are you going calmingly? to do that? Yeah. This might Anybody be a else? poor decision. We've all got to stick together, haven't we? So that if if Patea identifies something, Dimrath can shoot his bolt. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. As walk, it were, <laughs> I'm gonna walk up to the door of the house. We can't split up because we, look, Dimrath, no, you're the no, only I'm one that can. You're the only one. We have house. to stick together. We all have to stick no, together. No, I don't. I don't. You two are off your nut. I just need to. I'm gonna walk up to the door. As you're, uh, as you're doing this, Dim. You uh, you hear a tap. So you're not here. You feel a tap on your uh, your shoulder behind you. You look behind. There's nobody there. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna gesture over to Taya and uh, Jim. You start hearing whispering in your ear. The closer you get to that door, something about being seen. In uh. Chen, uh, Taya, can you can you look at me and see if there's anything near me? I look up as I'm walking over. Do I do I see anything? <laughs> so as you're looking at him, he is uh, he's completely being surrounded by spirits that are basically brushing up against him as they fly around. Boy, do they look like they are um, like intentionally near him, or are they just <laughs> so happen to be? They're, by him? they're intentionally near him. They're, they're can checking I, can him I, out. Can I like light a torch? <laughs> oh my god! Like, 
I won't, I won't fire. Can I light a torch? Yeah. You light up a torch, but uh, it allows you to see it a little bit better. Yeah, but I wanna, I'm going to like wave it around me. Like... You're, you're waving it around you, but uh, the spirits are still circling you. Oh, um, am, I, am I near the one that's crying on the bench? On the, on the stump? Uh, yeah, almost. yeah. Almost there. Okay, okay. Jim, what are you doing? I'm just here. Watching these two thinking, oh my fucking god, I've got, I ain't got nothing, have I? At least Dimrath can throw his thing. Tren can do the thing. I'm just here thinking, what the fuck am I doing? I'm like a fucking chocolate get, fire guard. Get some fire, get some fire, Jim, get a torch out. I've got, I've got, to I've got three torches, I'll get a torch out. Yeah, fire can out. do things, can't it? It gives you yeah. visibility. I've got, my, I've got my cock out. Put his cap on so everyone can see him. Put his little hat on. You um, Jim, make a make a perception check. A percep oh, perception's my my uh, my special skill. Remember, you got a plus three to everything. Oh my god, yes, this is like this is twenty five. <laughs> there appear to be the sounds of children playing coming from the well. Oh, hey, you guys! <laughs> the sounds of children playing come from playing from the well. What does that mean? There what does be, shh mean? <laughs> there also, uh, there also appears to be. You idiot! There what appears if to be music. Why they can hear us? Anyway, Jim, there appears to be music coming from inside the uh, inside the cottage as well. Music from inside. There's mu. There's music from inside the cottage as well. <laughs> Something just touched me. You, um, you was it Marcus? <laughs> Jim, you notice as well there is uh, there is smoke coming from the chimney. There's smoke coming from the there's smoke coming from the chimney. <laughs> as uh, as you're doing this, Jim, you start to feel a chill running down oh, your spine. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I'm just gonna run up. I'm gonna up to whoever's nearest out of Patea and Dimrath, and then be like, let's. You know, it's fucking You're starting to hear whispers as well in your ears. Oh. They're telling you to do things, Jim. Oh no, that's that's an everyday occurrence to be fair. Is it are they telling me to kill? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> check your uh, check your PMs. Oh shit. Am I near the stump now? You make your way up oh. to the stump. Is she still there crying? She's there crying. Um, can I sit down next to her? You can't, there's not enough room. Okay, well, I put my hand on her back and I ask, is there any way for me to help you? Your, uh, your hand goes clean through her. And she just continues there, crying on the stump. <laughs> Hello, is there any way for me to help you, ma'am? <laughs> There's no response from the figure. Oh my god. I don't know you, what to um, do with you, this look to, you look to your left, and there's another spirit that is slowly <laughs> loading wood up onto the stump. But almost a, almost a remnant of it. He's not actually picking up the logs, but he's picking up a spectral blue version of them, if that makes sense. No. Can I he continue places... watching him? You, you continue watching him, and he puts the log onto the stump, and then he disappears. Oh. About ten seconds go by, and he, uh, he reappears, and it happens again. Okay, well, well while this is happening, I'm going to make my way over to Patea and say, Can I borrow the stone, please? Yeah, here, take a look. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what do I see, Faulty? I'll look around. You are you notice the same things that she's noticing in front of you, mm. and you're looking over at Dimrath, and you see that he is uh, he's being completely surrounded and swarmed by spirits. Dimrath, uh, come here. Checking him out. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna edge over to these guys, waving my torch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk over to Tato. It's it's yeah. eerie, but it's peaceful. There are spirits all around you at the moment, circling you, but they don't appear to want to hurt you. Okay. 
See, they're not evil. I think we've got a chance here, guys. If we're reasonable with them, maybe we can just talk to them. And, well, we and... need to find out why there's... Why are there spirits? Yeah, why are there so many? Yeah. Well, why, why are there so they, many? Why have they not crossed over do, to the do other Do you side? guys know Agatha? Can we speak to them? Can, are there, can, you, you, are, can you interact? You attempt to speak to them, but they don't respond. Should we, we look at the well? Should we look and see what's in the well? Yeah, the well. I think the well is the one. Are you going over to the well? <laughs> yes. Well, well, well. Yes, we'll go over to the well. So you go over to the well and you peer over and you can still hear children playing. But there's nothing down there. Not even when I do this? Nothing when you do that. That's weird, isn't it? That's fucking spooky. Let's go do in the house. Aga do you think Agatha's, like, holding them? Like, well, I, I, I don't know. I'm... You hear a plate crack from inside as it crashes to the ground. It's fucking it's a too great quitting. <laughs> it's too spooky, this, isn't it? Should we go into the house? I mean, so smoke, right? That's real smoke, not pretend, like, not magical smoke, right? It's real smoke coming from the thing. So maybe there's real people and spirits. Who knows? Yeah, I think I think we should go in. Is the door unlocked at the front entrance? Are you going for the front or the side door? Oh, oh there's a side door right in front of us. Yeah, let's go to the side door. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to go through the front? Like, they'll think we're creepy if we go to the side. We are creepy. We, we're there's here fucking hundreds of... Yeah. Maybe we should just knock on the front door. Should we just knock on the front door? And, like, no, that's that's we, the dumbest idea. We mean no harm. We are friends. All friends together forever. We're not friends. We're not friends. We might we, be. We no, we're not. We're here mm. to eradicate this foul beast that is... Is it a foul beast or Dimra? I think so. I think so. I, it's, this place is evil, Jim. I detected the you evil. You did detect and, evil, and yeah. There are pure levels of evil. Is it made of stone? This house is made of stone, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. This is this is as evil as the black tar in the first place that we went mm. to. Like, this is this is mm. not good. This can you detect good. evil on the spirit? If I if I give my stone to Dimrath, can he detect evil on the spirits? He can. Yeah, alright, alright, I'll take the stone from Jim. Yeah. i hold it up, and then I detect evil. They're not evil. Okay. The spirits aren't evil. Give me but the stone. I do then. sense evil, I sense evil here. Yeah. You do, in the general vicinity, and it's not you. It's not you. Okay. Thanks for the clarification. <laughs> here, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if I go to the front and I knock on the door and you guys go in the back? No, yeah, I think right. that's. No, I think that's. I think that's. I think well, you've only got half your hit idea. points, Jen. You've only got half your hit points. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to split up. We don't want to split. It's too dangerous if we split up. Let's just all go to the front okay. door and knock and see what happens. No, let's go through the side door. Well, okay. It's door. your choice. It's your choice, Patea. Judge Dacker wants to go in the front door. Dimrath wants to go in the back door. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Sorry. <laughs> I'm I think she might door. want us to go through both doors at the same time, I'm not sure. I'm going to say the front door. <laughs> I realised what I'd said too late. <laughs> you, um, you guys approach the front door, and you can see that there's this I purple gone light. In the back. should have gone in the back. There's this purple light coming <laughs> through the seam of the door, through the bottom in the little gap. You can hear music playing. It's a very old-timey music. There's a flute, a violin. Uh, do we knock? We knock on the door. I'm assuming. Are you gonna knock on it? Is I it open? So. This yeah. is kind of. Open. You um, there's a in front of the door. It's an old oak door, and there's a knocker on the front of the door with a with a face on it. Yeah. I think we what? knock. Yeah, let's knock. Let's be. Polite. Are you gonna knock on the door? Or are you gonna knock on no, the knocker? Let's, let's knock on the knocker. Mm. So this, you uh, you lift up the knocker evil, guys. and you like, strike it think... down, and it opens its eyes and just starts staring at you. What's up, homie? <laughs> it keeps staring at you. What's the secret passcode? Let us know so we can get in. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's nothing in response. <laughs> Alright, let's open the door then. No one's come, let's open the door. As you uh as you go to reach for the door handle, Jim, it melds back into the door. Hmm. Okay, let's go around the back door and kick it in. Oh now you wanna go around the, the back door. Uh, the knocker on the door, Jim, his eyes dart towards you and just start staring at you now. Alright, uh, yeah. Hello? What are you doing? Just back at you, Trent. What are you what are you doing? Uh, is your master here? It doesn't what you, answer. What are you doing? <laughs> we we just wanna we just wanna talk about the spirits that are here. We're just curious as to why there's so many. Yeah, we just wanna help. We just wanna sort we just everything wanna out. Yeah, we just wanna restore help. the natural order of things. Agatha, the, uh, Agatha, the knocker, the knocker closes its eyes and fades back into the door. The door slightly opens on its own, Ooh. unlocks. I push it forward, you gently, forward. of course, Judge, gently. <laughs> gently. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You walk into the room. Uh, before you, in the room, it's it's a nice little room. There's a, a washing basin. There's a nice table with two plates that have been set out on it, along with two cups. Four seats. There appears to be a crate of provisions in the corner and some barrels of alcohol. There's also a, uh, a cabinet full of uh, everything you'd need from medicine to herbs, uh, elixirs of all kinds. But we don't see anyone? You don't see anybody. I snatch the stone off a dim no. map and say... I'd already, I'd already taken it back. I'd already taken it back. I'd already taken it back. I just let Oh, it. so you have it? You yeah. have it? Okay. And I'd, I'd done okay. that first. Oh, Are you looking through? I'm looking at it. Look. The stone, is, uh, the stone is large enough that you can hold it up in front of you and all of you can see what's in oh. front of it. <laughs> look, look, guys! <laughs> you um, you hold it up, and you all huddle around the stone, <laughs> and you can see this spirit. There's one sitting on the very far side, on the seat. There's another one bringing over drinks. They bring over the drinks, and they disappear. Ten seconds later, they start bringing it over again. There's another one sitting to your right, washing clothes in the basin. Mm. If we so if we say hello, do they look at us at all? They don't. What if we okay. sing hello by Lionel Richie? Hello. It's <laughs> <That's> a tune. <laughs> Will that work? You um nothing happens when you try and interact with them. Oh, sad. Is there anything in the cabin? Like, what do we see other than them? Is there anything out of the ordinary besides the There is the nothing ghost? out of the ordinary in this room. I think we have to go to the other room then, lads. That's it, lads. Okay. You hear, a music, you hear a music box playing in the other room. Is the door open to that room? You walk up to the door and it doesn't appear to be locked. Can I press it open? Just like, gently? You can do it if you want to. <laughs> I want to, yes, I do. <laughs> you open up the door. <laughs> do I see anyone if I just like poke my head around the corner like, hello? There is nobody in the room. Oh my god. And where's the music box? On the counter. I walk as you, into um, the room. As you walk into the room, you notice there's uh, there's a fire going at the moment. It looks like it's been well fed. Alright. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to go for a wee. I do apologize. I no do worries. apologize, but uh, I have to I have to go for a wee. Is there so what kind we'll of wait. music box is it? Is, is we'll it wait for him to get we'll wait for him to get back. Okay. You guys are fucked. Are we? <laughs> You're fucked. Uh, <clears throat> uh, oh no. Don't say that! Don't say that, Faulty! 
death. Death. So, so what's what's your philosophy? Because my other DM doesn't let us die until we're like level above level five. No, no, I'll let you die. Okay, good, good. I mean, I've saved Dimmy enough times. Yeah. What, what was wrong with <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I've saved you enough times from certain death and forward and backward rolling. <laughs> I don't mind. Like, it, it doesn't make sense to kill people in a campaign, you know? That's the thing. Yeah. Unless they're not doing something too egregious, it's, you know, it doesn't need to happen, does it? So if I break in somewhere and, like, get caught by the police, am I going to die? You're not going to die, but you'll be arrested. If I try and break out of prison, will I die? Uh, possibly. Okay. Did you go to prison? Yeah, you go to prison in this. What yeah. for? Breaking Stealing? and entering. But these are spirits, like... Not here, we... no. But theoretically, yeah. You know, theoretically, you could. Yeah, theoretically. Okay. Because my character is evil. I haven't done that much evil. Like, I'm a chaotic evil. But I haven't done that much chaotic evil stuff because I've just been testing the testing the boundaries, you know? So. I mean, you can. But just remember that your, uh, your actions will have consequences. That's the only thing I can say. Yes. You know, you can get away with a bit because of uh, because of what you guys have done, but push it too far and, uh, you know. Okay. I'll, I'll consider. It's how you want to play the character. Play the character, you know? There's not, there's yeah, not a problem yeah. with that. Everybody's entitled to play it how they want. Yeah, I've been playing her kind of like normally so far like kind of what yeah. i envision you know i'm just i just like dragons is there is there a romance starting between me and uh the act possibly <laughs> oh <laughs> tell you next session though there is uh no spoilers but there may be a, a green dragon <gasps> of some some description doing something no wow. spoilers no, no spoilers. spoilers though no spoilers no spoilers i don't no want spoilers, spoilers. Right, you would have forgotten about it by next time. Probably, yeah. I'm like an elephant. <laughs> I do like dragons. That's all I massive can say. Massive penis. <laughs> what the? You like an what, elephant? Massive what have I come back to? An elephant <laughs> with a massive penis? What the hell? It was a joke because uh, everyone thinks of elephants with big memories. <laughs> so. Because Fort Force will say we will forget something by next week. Uh... And then I said I'm like an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was hilarious. Yeah, it was it's pretty it good. Was it was comedy cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, sitting goose. <laughs> sitting goose was great. Has anything happened while I've been gone? No, we waited. Basically, we wait. yeah, no, we when, wait, when yeah. you walked oh. off, Fort Force was like, you lot are so fucked. Oh, oh shit. You yeah. are though, you are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it basically depends on what you're gonna do now that really matters. Oh god. I've still got my torch, I'm like... Whoa. I've got a torch as well. <sighs> so, uh, Tren, you walk into the room, and uh, there's a singular chair pointing towards <laughs> the fireplace. There's some barrels to your side, and there is a... Uh, yeah, there's a little music box <laughs> on the uh, on the desk. You look around and you notice that on the floor in the middle of the room, there is faint remnants of what appears to be a pentagram. A pentagram, you say? Uh, remnants of it's very faded and dust has completely covered the floor. But you uh, you put your hand to the floor and start to wipe away, and there's a uh, there's a pentagram on the floor. Oh, well, I can speak to Demon Cock, can't I? Mm -hmm. So I shall say, do you recognise this? What do you think all this is about, mate? He tilts his head and looks back at you. <laughs> is there any sign of and? life other than the fire? He tilts his head and looks back at you. <sighs> Are there any signs of life other than the fire that's been roaring that looks like it was just well fed? No. Should we just burn the place down? It's made a storm, I'm or do we? I'm 
leaning towards that way. Um, okay, so... Guys, I'm thinking I should close the music box, but we might die if I do that. So, can we take a vote on this? I'm for closing the music box. Do it. Okay, I walk up and close the music box. <laughs> you, uh, you oh, walk by up. Vote, and you yes. meant what's oh, this gym thing? <laughs> Well, that's two v one. So obviously, yeah. if cal if calcium was here, well, it could have been. If calcium was here, we'd still be alive at the end of this. <laughs> you are. Uh, you close the music box, and music's still playing. What? What are the spirits doing? There are no spirits in this room, Jim. Oh. Can we burn the music box? Is there any way to stop the music? Like, is there a key or something in it? Or so you are, please don't you stop the music. The you turn the key. <laughs> on the music box. Sorry, that was that was Rihanna. <laughs> you turn the key on the music box, and a little tray on the bottom pops out. <laughs> well, what's inside? You take a look at the tray, and there are some ashes. Oh, ashes. Do they... Can I tell... Well, are there ashes? I guess I can't Is it tell. ashes or is it dust? There appear to be ashes and some teeth. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Is it, is it mine? Ma no, I'm maybe this is Agatha, mind. right? Maybe this is Agatha. Maybe, maybe if we yeah. lay these to rest, everyone will be saved. Oh, so, that I was think... it? That was it last week. We have to go lay it to rest. That yeah, was so I, I see it. Should... But I where? think we should lay this to rest. Back yeah. in the graveyard. Yeah, yeah, back yeah in the graveyard. with the old night demon, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are. Uh, you look behind you, at the door. Oh God! And there's a figure standing <laughs> oh, in the door. Fuck! It's Theresa May. He's <laughs> <laughs> just staring at you. You can see her though. Can we you run out of the brain outline. Oh, sorry. I mean exit. <laughs> Agatha. <laughs> yeah, tilts her head at you and says, "Yes." Detect evil. Who? Who are you? Detect evil. She's We're here evil. to. She's We're here to evil. help you. We're here to help what? you, yeah. What happened to you? I... I... I don't remember. How long have you been here? I... I don't know. Is she, there uh, she, she turns around and walks over to the table and starts setting up the table. Was this your home? She's, uh, she's not paying attention to you anymore. She's specifically going for the table. Uh, I go sit at the table. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got the ashes and teeth? Is that is that Patea? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Move, yeah, she turns over. Move she turns my truck over, over as well. <laughs> she turns over to you, Jim. And she goes, uh, Henry, see, sit, sit. We have we have dinner shortly. Uh, okay, I'll sit down. I'll say daka 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 as well. Get get the cock out of there. You cock's already out, Jim. Stop getting. No, no, get him away. Like get him out of there. Get him away. We don't need him right now. She she seems friendly. Are you sitting down as well, Demi? No, oh, no, I'm not him. comfortable. I'm not comfortable. I, I detected evil somewhere, and although she's not evil, like I'm, I'm nervous, anxious, and uh, mm -hmm. a little bit afraid. She um, she walks back over into the other room, and appears to get something from one of the barrels. She she walks back to the doorway, stares at you, and goes, "Who who are you? What are you doing here?" Friends, Dimrath, friends. Dimrath? What? Oh, what? Who am I? Who are you? What are you doing here? Oh, I she says this, she says this to I, all of you. I, oh, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought she was, I was waiting for one of you guys to say something. We're friends. We're here to help you. When, when did you arrive? Oh, a few minutes can ago. I, can I offer you Tuesday? Tuesday. Oh, the classic drink? scheduling play. <laughs> She, uh, she starts walking a little bit closer. So is she dead? Is she a spirit, right? Yeah. Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
it's weird because she can interact with things as well. Can I, can I put my like? Can I just try and put my arm through her, like my hand through her? <laughs> so you uh, you put your you put your hand on her, and uh, you touch her. She says, "Get off of me!" And she slaps your hand away. And takes so, I, so I feel it. I can feel her. You tap. can feel her. Oh my god. <laughs> Agatha, do you remember? I know you said before you don't remember what happened to you, but has anything come back since we've been here? Four? I I don't remember much anymore. Sorry, let let me get you that drink. As she uh, turns around and walks back into the other room, coming back into the uh, into the doorway, she uh, she stares at all of you and goes, "Wait, who who are you? What are you doing here?" We're friends. We came in the woods. We're here to say hi to you. When, when did you arrive? Just just five minutes ago. We can, just got can, here. Can I offer you a drink? I'm sorry. If you would like. I'm sorry I didn't if you know. Like. If you would like. I, w I won't be just a moment. She goes back into the other room. She comes back out into the doorway, stares at all of you and goes, What? Who are you? Agatha, we just arrived here. Come sit with us. How, how do you know my name? When did you get here? We're friends from a long time ago. You don't remember us? I, I don't remember many things. Agatha, just come sit down. Maybe we can. Maybe we can uh, refresh your memory. Can I offer you offer you a drink? No, 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 no. We're okay. You already got us a drink. Come here. Oh. She uh she stares down at a, a tray in her hands full of drinks. I yes, I'm, I... uh, I'm 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 a bit forgetful these days. It's okay, Agatha. Come here. That is your name, correct? It is Agatha. I'll be right back. She uh, she, she she sits down at the table and says, "Yes." How how did you get here? We we nobody's walked... nobody's been here for a a long while. We walked to the forest. What how long's doing? a long how long's a long while, Agatha? I, I I don't know. You are uh, you're you're talking to her, and it it's very apparent that she has been she's been torn by time. She's been here a long while, and it's been just her, and she's clearly very distraught. What does she need? What does she want? At the moment, she just wants to cook dinner for her husband. Where's the husband? Uh you don't know. Agatha, who's who's here with you? Was this your home? It, it is my home. I, I don't know where Henry is. Who's Henry? My husband. What does he look like? I, she uh, she stares down. I I, I can't remember. That's Do you have nice. kids? I don't think so. Has anyone come to visit you besides? Sorry, us? it's it's been a. A long, long time. She um she starts to think, um, and then she her face starts to darken a little bit. Oh, and she she starts to have a little bit of a, a break. You you can see it in her expression. That the, there are a few, a few that came. They 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 took Henry. They took Henry. Yes. Do you remember anything about them? She, she sits there just staring at the uh, the empty plate in front of her, not saying anything. Do you want some help cooking dinner? As you're, as you're saying this, she slowly stands up and just starts walking outside past you, oblivious to the fact that you're there. Okay, guys, I think... We uh, found the music box. I'm not sure if we should stay or go. Well, it's I the ashes, think... isn't it? The ashes. Yeah, she yeah, sits I mean, down. Let's put these ashes to rest and hope that's fucking good. She enough. goes and sits down on the uh, on the stump and starts crying, just like the spirit you saw before. Mm. Okay, so this is a loop of like what they used to do. Does she? Does she? Do anything besides cry if we walk up to her. Yeah, she she starts crying. And goes, I'm 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 sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. 
Oh, it's okay. What, what, what uh, do you want? We just want to know what happened. I, I don't remember. They they came and took Henry and... That's okay. Do you remember I, I don't anything... remember. Do you remember anything special about that day? Where did they take him? Like, oh, a long time ago, though, wasn't it? It was a long time ago. So. They... They... I... Nearby, they, they took him. We need to find Henry. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, okay, she I mean, it starts ignoring you again and walks over to the water trough. We follow her. Or I follow her. Yeah, I'll follow her as well. Yeah, okay. You um you see her starting to uh to replay some action. She's holding something in her hands, in her arms, that's completely invisible to uh to you at the moment, and she looks like she's washing it. A baby or a child? Who has the monocle? I've got it. Oh. I'll, I'll have a look. I'm holding We've it over my eye now, even though I'm not seeing yeah. it. You yeah. look through the stone, and she is holding a, uh, a male body in the water, cleaning it. It appears what to be lifeless. Henry. So we can't see the body, like, naturally, only through the stone. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you tell us? What you see, Jim? Yeah, I'll tell you. There's there's a body there, and it's it's she's holding it and washing it. It's but it's dead. Agatha, what are you washing? She's completely oblivious to you guys at the moment. Can I try and touch her? She. Yeah, there. you touch her on the shoulder, and she jumps back, shocked, and goes, "Wait, what? Who who are you? When did you get here?" We just arrived, Agatha. We want to help. What are you washing? So, sorry? Could, I, I, I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's okay. What what happened here? What are you watching? I, I, I don't know. She, uh, she starts walking back inside, ignoring you guys again. We're going to go and help you now, Agatha. Choose! Can, can, like, is there, can I put my hand through the trough and see if there is a body in there or what? You, uh, you put your hand through the trough and you start to wade through it and there are old torn clothes with uh, you pull the clothes out and they're male clothes and they appear to have stab and puncture marks through the clothing. Someone died here guys. Well, it must be a husband. And she said that someone else came. Yeah, so I'm curious who else came. Should, can we look at the well? Did we look at the well? We looked down it, but we couldn't see anything. Yeah, Even we with heard the kids playing by it, but not, not. Kids, hang on, kids. Are you guys going over to the well? Yeah, I am. So I'm trying to piece together what happened. Okay. So you guys walk over to the well. Make a uh, make a perception check for me. Oh, mine's really good. Oh, is it plus three? Plus three. Plus... Twenty-two. Oh, there you go. Jim's got it. I so, got fourteen. So Eight. you can. Ah, sorry. You can all see this. Just to the oh. north side of the well, there is a patch of ground that. Uh, that appears to be growing at a much faster rate than everything else. Ooh. I walk over to it. <laughs> you uh, you go over to the patch and you start pushing away the grass, and the earth is all scorched. Does it look like uh, someone was burnt here or buried? Burnt. From your knowledge, it looks like somebody has been burnt here. Does she have any knowledge? Wait! <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. wow. It was a long time ago, Agatha, though, right? You said it was a long time ago. That in the last episode, there was like a villager said like it was 100 years ago yeah, or something. It wasn't 100. No. It, was, uh, it was a few years, say about 10, 15. Yeah, the most. 10, yeah, 15. yeah, because they all remember her, so it must have been yeah. in his lifetime. Yeah. yeah, so not not too rec not too long ago, but still recent. So, um, are there any like bone fragments, or can we tell what was burnt here? 
you are looking and uh, look through actually. Make an investigation check. Well, Ulva, so. Uh, just trend. Trend. Trend's looking at it at the moment. 19 plus 3 plus investigation is. 3. 19, 20, 20, 20, 25, 26. So, you managed to. Uh, brush your hand through the, the grass that's there, the tall grass and you find a fragment of what appears to be a tooth a human tooth? you pull out the lockbox and you compare and they appear to be very similar can I add it into the lockbox collection of teeth I have acquired? <laughs> you can add it into the lockbox collection of the a teeth a human the tooth I found a bovine tooth before very nice. Thanks. <laughs> so yeah, you found that tooth. How many teeth do I have? <laughs> uh, you have a full set now. I have a full set now, okay. Can you fit it in to see if that fits in with the rest? <laughs> I think we should take this back to the graveyard, but I'm still not sure if we should stay or go. Or I think we, we should, should take it back to the graveyard and see if, see if we can lay it to rest, as it were. Yeah, I think so too. What do you say, Dimrath? I'm not... I, I don't know if this is it. Like, I don't know. I'll, I'll yeah. do it. I'll do what you need to do, but I, I don't know what this... I, like, I'm really confused and... It's spooky, in it? But I mean, we don't want to have to fight her if we don't have to, right? Like, have we properly searched this place? Like, are we, are we sure that this is the answer? No. I can tell you as a DM that you haven't fully searched this place. And there are some more things to uncover. Yeah, so I think, I think we need to... Like, the fight, like, there's a fireplace there and there's something to the left-hand side of it and... I want to kind of. I just want to scope it out. Like I don't, because there's something evil here, and it's not Agatha. That's, a good, that's a good point. That's a good point, That's a good point. I'm sorry, am I? Is this? Is that's this? Up. Is this? Musical well, I didn't shrink. Box? I just. I'm slumping. I'm lazy. <laughs> is this musical box uh, evil? No. The musical box isn't evil. <laughs> Is it still playing music? Okay. Let's fully yeah, explore yeah. the house and then head back and bury these remains. Does that sound good, everybody? Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, I think that we haven't... I don't think burying these remains is the... I don't think that's what we're here to do. I think we're here to do something else. I yeah. think as it there, is. As they're walking back in, can I do a lap around the outside of the house? <laughs> a lap? You do. And there's the nothing. Lap. There's nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> okay. I just felt like running. <laughs> <laughs> Get your sprints in. Hey. Are you are uh, you going into the house? Yeah. I am. Yeah. 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 yeah let's go. Who's let's going go. in first? Dimra. I'll go. First. I'll go first. You um. You open up the door, Dimmy, and she stares over at you and goes, "What? Who are you? What are you doing here? When I'm did you get gonna... here?" I'm going to ignore her. And I'm gonna just look around the room. Can I like do a perception check or something? Or yeah, she starts to get visibly distraught and asks you again, "What are you doing here? Who are you?" I'm Jim. I Ray. say, "Honey, honey, it's me. It's Henry. What are you? What are you on about?" <laughs> Henry. She uh, she starts to stare down. God, this at looks the, this uh, is the floor. Be bad. Hello, hello, Agatha. We're all friends. All friends together. Don't worry about anything. Yes, honey, these are my friends. I I brought them home for dinner. He, she doesn't say anything. She walks over and sits down at the table, staring at the empty plate. I'll go and honey, sit down where the empty plate is to try and placate her. We need to search. We need to search. We need to find something. Yeah, you two can search, and I'll try and keep Agatha happy. <laughs> is there anything in this room out of the ordinary? Not that you can see. Okay. It's the other room. Yeah, yeah. I, 
<coughs> like, <coughs> I wanna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna creep into the other room. <laughs> and I wanna <laughs> yep. have a proper search, it's like tables, like, there looks like there's maybe papers there, or yep. the fireplace. Or... You, um, you walk over to the table and you see a note on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, it reads, my dearest Henry, <laughs> I'm sorry for what they did to you. I will find a way to bring you back. I swear it. Is that all it says. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then let's keep searching. Just keep looking. You uh, you look through and you find a couple of diaries. And you look through the diaries, and it's just repeated for hundreds of pages. I will bring him back. I will bring him back. I will bring him back. Mm. Oh, and that's why she's messing with the deaf guy who can't... So the deaf guy can't do his job. Because she's messing with it. Mm. Just try and bring Henry back. That's This is what's going on. Is there any possible way of killing Agatha? You want to kill her? Try and find out. Why would you want I've... to kill her, Dimmy? No. I want to kill her. No, because no. she's doing something that's upsetting. I thought, I thought the guy was paying us to get rid of Agatha. Yeah, but yeah, I want proper burial, and then she'll be okay, right? Lay, a, lay a spirit to rest. Like, we've got a layer spirit to rest. We don't have to fucking kill her. We don't like stab or anything, you know. Yeah, Crossbow bolt wondering... gonna do it, is it? But the only thing I that's want... gonna lay a spirit to like rest is bring Henry back. And we ain't bringing Henry back, are we? Well, maybe we could think... see what the aspect of death says. No, I don't think I don't think that's a valid option. I think maybe the maybe the only options I think here are you're may, you're maybe right, and we should try and like kill her spirit, or we try and bring her spirit back to the graveyard with us. I think we'd go to the graveyard first, see if that works. If not, then we go and stab her in the eye. Yeah, she looks over at you, Jim, from the table and goes, Henry, you, you, you look very thinner than I remember. Okay, let, <laughs> let, let me get you a banana. Caged <laughs> or free-ranged? Oh, caged, please. <laughs> Always caged. <laughs> yeah, she walks over to the, uh, she walks over to the cabinets, picks out a banana from a cage. To her, it looks ripe and lovely, but to you, Jim, the banana is rotting and decaying oh, and it's God. blackened. Oh, no. She, uh, she puts it in front of you. Like, you, you enjoy it, Eric. Wait, hey. Well, hey. Uh, I'll, I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll put the, leave the banana in front of me and not here. And say thank you. Thank you, Agatha. You're a lovely lady. Much appreciated. Do I, do I see this happening? You do. Um, can I Me? make eye contact with Jimmy? You're gonna eat his mouldy banana. No. <laughs> oh my God. I wanna, I wanna make eye contact with Jimmy, and be like, "Bring her back to the graveyard." Oh, do you think that's the play? Do you think that's the play? I don't know if that's the play, but it's the only idea I have. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, Agatha, I'm gonna go on now. Thanks very much. Been lovely dinner. Lovely evening. Uh, see you later. See you later, love. Let's let's go. That's all she's, fuck uh, off. she's just staring down at the plate. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> let's go, everyone. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and there's, no there's nothing else in the house. Do we investigate everything? There is nothing else in the house. <laughs> but you remember looking earlier as you looked at the ground, there is a faint pentagram on the floor. Mm. Can I kick part of the pentagram as I leave the room to break it? Oh, the pentagram is probably the thing that's keeping uh, Agatha here. <laughs> Do you think she cast a spell or something? No, well, it or might like be Agatha it? trying to bring Henry back. To life, oh, it? Like, yeah. it, she said she'll do anything. Yeah, she'll do anything. Back. Yeah, anything. 
So either she is her pentagram or it's something else's pentagram. She's not evil though, like that's she's what I'm not know. evil, yeah. She's but not like, evil, Timra. But then I what are you doing with my face? Stop it. <laughs> do you think she do I'm you think it. do you think she, do you think she like tried to what? Well, like, they look like a summons, isn't it? Or like a seance. So, like, what are the pentagrams? On Demons, the floor? isn't it? Demons. Like, what are they? Oh, is it? Do you think pentagrams can be used for a lot of things. Oh, well, my demon cock, like, looked at me funny as if it was like she's summoning a fucking demon dickhead. It was what I got from demon cock. I mean, should we just torch the place? Well, if we want to talk about that, we can do it outside. Let's just let's just go for right now. I think you know, let's just go. This place is evil. All I know is this place is evil. Are you getting up and going outside, Jim? Yeah, I think. Is there I, anything I think in the ceiling? Hmm? Is there anything in the ceiling? A roof. <laughs> okay. No way. Yeah. Dimrath, no let's. No way. There's a roof. No on this way. <laughs> No way. No way. <laughs> oi, oi, guys, I think this place is evil. It has a roof. Yeah, roofs are inherently evil. Yeah. Are you guys leaving? I think we should what, go. What, what, what are we doing? We're either. I think we should go. I think we should go, Dimrav. Dimrav, let's just go and talk about what? it outside. Okay. Yeah? Alright. Well, yeah. Wanna... Oh, hold on. Hold yeah? On. Let's talk about it outside. Can I touch the table before I leave? <laughs> Just put my hands on the table. Which one? The table where Alex is sitting. Right, right, right. Guys, guys, honestly. She, she's, honestly. she's putting placemats down. Can I just, like, touch the placemat <laughs> she's putting down? Uh, she doesn't have any reaction to you touching it. <laughs> okay. We, we either, mm -hmm. like, we've got two options, guys. We've got two options. I think we kill her. But we could bring her body back. Dimrath, I think we should leave right now, seeing as she's displayed that she can hear us. I think we should just leave right now. <laughs> and there's nothing on the floor? Like, there's no... Can well, I we touch either the kill her or and... bring her back. No, no, Dimrath, no, let's leave right knees. now. I'm on my hands and knees, like, looking at stuff under you the You touch table. the floor and there's just a lot of dust. There's dust on everything around you. Let's leave and go to the tree and talk. Okay, all right, we'll go with Jim, we'll go with Jim, but, like, let's go, let's go, all right. Let's we'll talk right. about I'll, things I'll... at the tree, yeah? Yeah, let's talk about things at the tree. Yeah. We... I, I'm, I, I'm up for burning the place down. Yeah, the tree, let's go to the tree, the tree, the tree. Yeah, the way your cursor is, yeah, that tree. Let's go to that tree. You going, Trent? I'm still on my hands and knees, like, investigating, trying to see if I find anything, like, you're, any signs. You're essentially just, come to the tree! <laughs> you're essentially just trawling through dust. And... <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying so hard. Taya, Taya, come. Okay, fine, I'll do a forward roll out of the <laughs> front of the thing from my hands and knees. I'll make an acrobatics check. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! Yes. Seven, eight, nine, twelve. Plus you three. Are, plus you, three. You, oh yeah. No, the, the plus, the plus, the plus three is already included. Oh god! <laughs> you um, you do it, but you smack your head on the concrete as you uh, you roll a bit too far forward and you smack your head. You're a bit dazed, but you uh, you manage to get yourself up and walk out. <laughs> you take you three points of damage. Oh god, that's a lot when we've got half points. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, that? like, I'm gonna cure wounds on Taya. Yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. No, it's not worth it, it's not worth, well, okay, maybe it is. No, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. worth it. I, yeah. How I much have like... you got, how much have you got total, like, nine or eight? Five? Yeah, 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 you need the three back. <laughs> no, but total, total, I have eight, so, like, it's... You need the three back. Okay, fine. I rolled a two. So does, that means I get the, to the Does the, like, the plus three thing work with healing or not, I guess? Yes, not. it will do, because it's a charisma modifier, so it will do. Oh, okay. So I guess so she's I'm back, back to full health. health. Mm -hmm. Glorious. Okay. 
there's no way that you couldn't get us a full health on casting the spell. Yeah. Glorious. Right, so now we're outside, and we're in the tree, we can talk freely now, because she was right there, Dimrath, when you were talking about wanting to kill her and burn at the ground. Maybe that's not a good idea when you're literally in her house <laughs> to talk about burning her house down. <laughs> but she won't remember Jim. Like she will walk out. But the she door might. She don't know what she you? is. You don't know what she is. No, she might be like some kind of crazy banshee or something. You no, might just be able to kill us all instantly. She won't remember. She doesn't but know. You what's don't going know. On. But you don't know what she is. We go. Who are you? How did you get did, here? Like, but she did might we just look at her all. through the stone? Did we look at her through the stone? You did, and we she did, is yeah. the same through the stone as she is from what you We can don't see. need to look at her through the stone because we can see her, like, whereas we can't see the other spirits. Yeah, but she could have been like a demon through the stone or whatever, right? And why are there so many other spirits here? Yeah, that's the other that's thing. Well, that's, it's, it's the so, pentagram, isn't it? It's the pentagram is why all these spirits are here. Yeah, well, so she she's the one that's here. So I don't know who the kids are, but like, she's the one crying and she's the one at the trough. So, and I'm assuming that it's Henry is the one that's mm. cutting the wood. Yeah, so I, 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 there's two things that we can do. Is we either kill her or bring her spirit back. I think we spring her spirit back and if that doesn't work, we burn it to the ground. How does that sound, Dimrath? I mean, I'm just up for burning the spirit. Like, there's something that just doesn't resonate well with me. Like, there's something... But I mean, like, if you want to bring the spirit back, I'll bring the spirit back begrudgingly, like, like. What do you say, Patea? Well, so are we just gonna take the? Are we gonna take the thing back to the? Yeah, I think and... we take the bones and the dust. That's Henry. That's Henry. That dust and that. Unfortunately, you remember it's not what the aspects of death had asked for. What does? What did he? He wanted what us to he kill ask her. For? He asked us to kill her. I'm sure. He did. did he? I think we just stick mm. with that. Right. Burn the house? Is the house going to kill it? Like, what is she? What is she? His, uh, she his exact, who his is exact, she? <laughs> his exact wording was he wanted a solution to the problem. A solution to the problem? This could be the solution, right? Just bury, bury, bury these ashes. That could be it. That could be it sorted. So I reckon we try this. If it doesn't work, we come back and then we burn it down. What That's time what is I it see. now? It is getting to about 3, 4 o'clock. Okay, we don't have enough time to, like, do this and come back, so... You would have enough time to do one option. How about we've got we've got the things already, right? We burn it down, and if that doesn't work, then we bury it. Do you want to burn the... Wait, okay, so the fire is roaring, right? Can... Is there water in the... Is there a bucket by the well? No. <sighs> Why are you two so against just... Trying to kill I don't know how we kill I don't, her. But... I don't want to get murdered by a spirit. Okay? Exactly, yeah. Not I don't how know how, I, I don't like, know how to I kill don't her. Fuck with ghosts, okay? How do you I don't kill a ghost, ghost or whatever? <laughs> we haven't got fucking ghost buses. We can't fucking cross the streams, can we? I don't know. How, how would you fucking kill her? Dimrath? Like, is... Oh, mighty Dimrath. How do we kill her? Yeah, can you even kill a ghost? Like, that, that well, just seems let's unnatural. Take bones back. Let's take oh, bones you, um, back. you remember... <laughs> From, from what you've gone through, you can only see the ghosts and the spectres through the stone. She appears to be in a physical form. She doesn't appear to be a ghost or a spirit. Yeah, and I touched her. I touched her and she hit me. She appears oh, to be yeah. flesh and blood. I'm sure she isn't, though. Oh, this is fucked. Make a, make a decision now. Remember the description of Agatha. She is a jaded person who has been ravaged by time and has lost her sense. So maybe she's just like an old lady who is, isn't is actually a fucking demon or a monster or anything. Well, she's not evil. She's not evil. The place is evil, but she's not evil. Should but... I mean, if we burn down the hut, is that going to do anything, though? No, it'll get rid of the pentagram, and it'll probably get rid of the spirits. These my okay. guests. Do you guys uh, want to try doing that first? Let's burn it down. Yeah, let's burn it down. Let's do it. Will that kill her? I hope so. You, uh, how are you going to do it? Who's going to take lead? I'm just going to... Grab my torch. 
It's uh, it's stone, Demi. Is there like what? There's wood in there. What's stuff, the roof made right? of? Inside the uh, gonna... roof is thatched with straw. Thatched yeah, so I'm gonna straw. walk in. I'm gonna walk inside and I'm gonna set the table on fire first. I'll I'll lob my I'll lob my torch onto the roof. With her still in there, Demi. Well, yeah, that's the point, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I feel like we need to kill Agatha. So, are you going to go inside and do it, or are you going to toss a torch up onto the roof? I'm going to toss a torch onto the roof. Oh, I think we need to burn the house down, right? I can tell you that if you toss the torch onto the roof, it would burn the house down. Yeah, okay, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll toss the torch onto the roof then, yeah. Are you all going to do it? Yeah, I'm I'll not, do it. You're not? I'm not. Okay. You uh, you toss a torch up onto the uh, the roof, and it catches a light, and it starts burning away. It catches because it's uh, dried straw. It catches almost instantaneously as the uh, as the house starts to to go up in smoke. You see smoke coming from the cracks in the doors, and hear screaming coming from inside. Poor Agatha. I don't think we should have killed her. Is the door open? No, we or need closed? you to, Jim. We need you to. Like, we either need to kill her or take. Like, I'll get my bow, arrow, bow and arrow ready in case she comes out of the fire looking like a stuntman. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, it continues to burn for about thirty seconds or so, and uh, and you see her stumble out of the door, her face half burnt off, Jim. Oh as she's uh, coughing and spluttering up blood all over the paving stone on the front. Right, the shoot her right in the fucking head. <laughs> as, you, uh, as you aim your crossbow and get ready to, uh, to fire, she, uh, she looks up at you and just lets out a last breath of why. And I'll say, I rolled a 20. <laughs> How does she die? Uh, just one straight through the brain, obviously. Boom. You um, you like shoot one straight through her, and uh, it's a very it's an iron tipped arrow, so it uh, it embeds her skull into the pavement stone, Four. as her uh, her body is overtaken and engulfed with flames. Oh. oh actually, Alice said Brexit means Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> The house completely catches a light <laughs> okay. and is, uh, is now fully burning. Right. So do you think we've done enough then, Dimrath? With everything's on fire. I've shot an arrow through her. Yeah, head. I think I think this is enough, mate. I think we need to go back and see the ferry. And then we take all. then we take the the fucking the things that we've got, the ashes back as well. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take the ashes back as well. Yeah. Is there any? So even though she's on fire right now, is there any semblance of her like that's not on fire, or this? She, she is completely have, like... engulfed. Okay. So the entire yeah. house is burning. Okay. Good plan. Just leave the it. uh the stones have started glowing red as well with heat, and you can hear them cracking. You uh you can hear her teeth start to expand and pop like popcorn as her body starts to heat up and her eyes melt out of her sockets, her hair completely charred and smouldered to her head. Right. You've, uh, you've murdered this woman. <laughs> okay! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess let's just go back to... go back to the... the... graveyard? Yeah, let's go back to Night Demon. You are oh, aspect of death. You look through the stone, and uh, all of the spirits appear to have disappeared. Oh, job, job, lads. The spirits are gone. All right, let's, oh, let's fuck know. off back to the uh, aspect of death. Yeah, let's go to the aspect. Yeah. You guys start to slowly stumble your way back through the forest. <laughs> the uh, the weight of the choice and uh, and what you did weighing on your conscience. Did you make the yeah. right choice? Did you not? I don't think we did. I you are uh, you, you you start to you start to talk about it between you. I think we did. 
I don't think we did. I think there was a different solution. I think we maybe could have tried talking to her more. I don't know. I wasn't happy, but it seems to have worked, doesn't it? All the spirits are gone. She's dead. Like, at the end well, of the I day, think she's innocent. the aspects I think she's of death innocent. is a massive part of life, right? So, his yeah. function is, like, like as he needs to be able to do his job. Look, if, 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 I think she was innocent too, but Dimrath just killed an innocent cat. You've killed an innocent dog. We've all killed innocent people. <laughs> okay. You guys do have a point with that. <laughs> You've also got to remember that your actions have consequences, and they, they do weigh on your conscience. You know, it's going to be a few sleepless and restless nights before you can you can get I mean, the image. I'll out be of your honest, full force. I don't I'm, have a conscious. I'll, yeah, I'll I, be, I come from a war background as well, so I'll like be fine murdering a thousand people, a million people, not like, one of I, them would bother me whatsoever. No, it does bother me. Every every life bothers me. Like, not one of them would bother me. As you're walking away, you can uh, you can still hear the the sound. Not of a serial teeth. killer, by the way. You you can still hear the sound of her teeth expanding, and uh, and nice. popping inside of her mouth. Nice. Job well done. I think so. I uh, I honestly I, I I don't like I don't feel great about it, but I think it was the right decision. <laughs> Oh fuck sweet corn. Everyone who eats sweet corn, just kill them. <laughs> well, let's go to the tomb. Let's go to the tomb. So you um you guys slowly make your way back through the woodlands and you're back over to the graveyard. The stones are still moving. And you're greeted this time by six undead standing around the graveyard just staring at you. Fucking hell. What are you gonna do? We're just gonna. Uh, well, I don't think they're here to attack us. I think. Uh... No, I don't think so either. They didn't last time, did they? I'd as see. you uh, as you guys start walking up, you see the stone doorway on the crypt start to open up, and uh, and the aspect of death floats out in his clothing. He's uh, he's hooded and shrouded. He has a black mist coming off of him as the black mist emanates and goes out. It uh, it touches you guys as it crawls along the floor, and you feel a chill go up your spine. Did you do what I asked? Yes. We think we did. Yeah. Mm. Who's got the ashes? I have the ashes. We found this in the in the hut that we think we found Agatha in. Bring them to me. Here you go. <laughs> Are you walking up to him? Yeah, yeah. As you slowly start to walk up to him, you feel more and more um, uneasy. It's very intimidating. You're starting to get very anxious. And you're, uh, you're feeling like your heart rate has almost doubled. What are you going to do with them? That's none of your concern, as he takes the box from your hand. As you get up close to him, you uh, you start to feel an immense amount of panic and despair, but you can't stop looking away from him. I don't like this. Well, he's the aspect of death. He's not gonna be like roses and tea, is he? He's just <laughs> walking back. Roses and tea. I'd assume you're walking back, right? Oh, yep. So. Yep. <laughs> He's not going to be like roses and tea, is he? <laughs> he, uh, he says over and goes. <laughs> ah. These are the these are the ones I was looking for. Thank you. Is that going to be all you need from us? For now. Yeah, he puts his hand up into the air and the zombies slowly start to shamble back to their respected graves. Looks like we didn't need to brutally fucking burn to death then, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Never mind. Yeah. He, uh, 
he turns to you and goes until next time as he uh, as he floats backwards into the uh, the crypt as the okay. stone door slowly starts to come up. <laughs> Cheers. Did we do the, we did the right thing then, right? No, I don't think we needed to burn it down. I don't think we needed to burn it down either. I think we should have just gone back to the gravesite. Yeah, but never mind. We just burnt an old it like we burnt and demented old lady to death, it's alright, isn't it? It's like yeah, not yeah. no yeah. big loss, put her out of misery really, to be honest. Yeah, honestly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> as harsh as it sounds, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I'm curious what the children were, though. Like, yeah, there were children there. I will tell you yeah. after if you want to know. Okay, thank you. <laughs> right. Are you, uh, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Are you going back to the back. tavern? Yeah. Yep. Let me just change some music. Right. You uh, you guys make it back to the tavern, and you're weary, and you walk inside. You um, you walk over, and you see uh, Theach and Marcus still playing that same chess game, which is a bit odd to you, but uh, they've been playing it all night. Mm. You see Marcus pick up a piece, go to place it somewhere, and then shakes his head and puts it back as they uh, they sit there, staring at each other. You look to the right of the chessboard. And there must be at least 10 to 15 uh, tankards piled up next to them. Alright, I'll say, Marcus, did you learn to play chess at Rebel? <laughs> yeah, he looks over you and goes, Rebel, what's that? Oh, uh, you're back! Yeah, Sorry! Well... Welcome back. How did, uh, how did it go? I don't know if we did the right thing, but we did do something. What, what happened? Well, there was. We found Agatha. She was a ghost. In, Agatha. Uh, yeah, in um, a in a. You found her then. Yeah, we did find her. What? And and what's become of her? Well, I don't know if this is what we should have done, but we did burn the hut down, so we think that you she burned was the destroyed. hut down. Yeah. Yeah. And I put an arrow through her bonds. <sighs> yeah, he seemed shocked for a second, but. <laughs> So if if it's what you had to do, it's uh, it's what you had to do. Maybe yeah. Yeah, he lets out a sigh. Right, sit down. I'll get you some food and a nice drink. Do you have any of those noodles? Any of those noodles? <laughs> yeah. Let me uh, let me see what I can do for you. As he, uh, as he walks off to the back. <laughs> Only if we can have camera panning. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys, sit down, contemplating what had happened. Um, and yeah, you, you realized it was it was the right choice that you made. You didn't know what was going to happen, and uh, you know it was an educated guess as to what you should have done. And you think you made the right choice? I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm. Dimrath is very happy. Dimrath is happy. You're um. Yeah. You're, you're talking it through with Fiatch, and, uh, and he understands why you made the choices that you made. Um, and you go through and you explain it to him. And uh, for your service, he, he gives you each a bag of gold. You can each have 50 gold pieces. Woo! For completing the contract. Result. We completed the contract. That was the you main thing. completed his contract, yeah. So, Fiatch, what was that? He's sizing us. I, I have no idea. I uh, I only receive the contracts and, and find people to fulfill them. I, I don't know what it is. From the sounds well, who, of it, you had uh, quite an adventure. Who gave you the contracts? Like It was that mysterious man in the pub, wasn't it? There was two of them wearing their sunglasses at night. It was one of them, yes. Huh. Okay. We uh, We do what we have to do to get by. And if that means selling contracts, we sell contracts. If that means dealing with nefarious people, we deal with nefarious people. As I'm sure you so, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know. I get it, I get it. I'm not judging. <laughs> but what are, what are we going to do about the... The... Um, what's his name? Barthon that got kidnapped, I'm assuming. Barthon. Are we going to do... 
Are we going to do anything about that? I suppose you must go and find him, but take a look around the take a look around Fennel and see what you can find. Mm. Okay. What time is it right now? It is currently we... seven a.m. I think we should take a little nappy nap and then do that after we wake up from our little nappy nap. Yeah, we we can be fully rested in four hours of meditation. Dimrath can have a little kip. And yeah, he, well, says, he, he says, give me what you have. I'll take a look and figure out what needs to happen next. Okay, so I'll be back in four hours then. I think I think we should... Are you going to hand think... him all of the bits you've collected? Not the maps. I think we should keep the maps. We, we should keep the dwarf maps for ourselves. Okay. So he hears you, he hears you talking map. about this and uh, he says, look, if, if you want my help, Give me the maps, and I'll, I'll see what I can find. Oh. Okay, I'll give, I'll give him everything. <laughs> I'll give him everything. He's a dragon. He can't do anything wrong. Thank you. As he, uh, as he puts all the maps <laughs> and uh, the notes that you've taken into his pocket. I As I yeah. hand them to him, I, like, I, I brush his hand a little as I <laughs> hand everything to him. He, uh, he looks down at the hand and looks back up at you. <laughs> and uh, he whispers under his breath, not here. <laughs> At this point, Marcus comes out from the uh, from the kitchen. He places a lovely bowl of noodles in front of you. He, uh, he goes over to Theach and, uh, and he puts his morning muesli in front of him. Oh my God. For you, Jim, he gives a nice ear of corn, corn on the cob. Right, I'm gonna say fuck off with this corn on the cob. I throw it on the ground. Thought you liked corn? No, I as don't. He, uh, as he stares angry, you can see his. I don't. I don't, Marcus. Marcus. I don't like it. I bit my tongue last time. This is a joke. Where the fucking heroes are fandling? We've just fucking sorted out Agatha. I don't want fucking corn. All right, give me steak. It's all I have to offer. As you I don't are. want you your fucking corn, to, mate. You, it's you an see insult. Him start to get angry. It's an insult. You're angry. I'm fucking angry. Do you want your gold? He, uh, <laughs> he smacks his hand down on the table and goes, It's all I have to offer. Don't be so rude now. All right, well, I stand up, bring up, take out my sword, and I'll whoa, say... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, hold on, hold and on. I'll put it, I'm going to point at his throat, right? And I'm going to say... I stand in front of him. So you're pointing it at my throat now. No, 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 no. It's Marcus's throat. throat. Oh, no, no. You're on the other oh, side, no. look. You're on the other it's side. You, uh, as you reach for your sword, <laughs> as you reach your sword, Jim. By the way, the effects of the potion have worn off. You guys go back up to your normal health. Good. But you lose the bonuses. Um, you, are you going to try and draw your sword? Yeah. You're currently face to face with him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Make a sleight of hand check to attempt to draw your sword. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna roll. You're gonna roll directly against Marcus. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a one! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake, I had to, didn't I? <laughs> as, you, uh, as you're stumbling to pull out your sword, it gets caught in the, uh, in the sheath. At this point, Marcus pulls a knife out of his boot, puts his arm out in front of it, and drives you back into the wall, pulling the knife to your neck. God. Do you, uh, you want to try that again? I'll say daka daka daka. He's uh he's uh, got a he's got this knife at your throat, Jim. I'll say daka daka. Are you fighting over sweet corn? Yeah, this mate. Is what, hey, 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 this is really, what's we, happening? I think, I think we can settle this over something else. Why why do you only have corn to offer us? Can we give you money for food as such as we have been being here? Are you gonna stand up and? Uh, this is all yes. about sweet corn, yes. is it? Yeah, I want to interfere. I'm going to grab Here. Jim. I'm going to, like... You can't Please. at the moment. So Jim is I've got a knife Jim against my throat. You can't Jim is currently Marcus. up against the wall. He's been pinned with uh, with Marcus's right arm up against the wall, and there's a knife against his throat. Can Marcus, I, can please, I, please, can please I take push. this 50 gold, and I think we can settle our differences. No, 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 no. I want to I wanna push Marcus away from Jim, and then I want to punch Jim. <laughs> Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I want to just shove him out of the way 
Um, Marcus, uh, Marcus stumbles back. Make a strength check for me, Dim. Uh, oh, we've not got the plus, have we? So. No, no. I do have plus two. So. <laughs> as, uh, as this is going on, Trent, Fiat oh, puts his arm nine. in front. Oh, it's a nine. puts his arm in front of you and uh, and stops you from going in. Um, yeah. you, push, you push Marcus back, but uh, he, he's letting you move him away. As if he's letting him <laughs> Are you going to go for that punch on Jim? Yeah, I'm going to punch Jim, yeah, yeah. Make another strength check for me. Because he's completely out of order for, like, kicking this up over... This fucker's trying to yeah. get this fucking corn on the cob, are you shitting me? Yeah, no, I quite like corn on the cob. But he yeah, rolls yeah. a fandle and he's giving us fucking corn on the cob. I rolled an actual one, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, you punch with all of your strength, Dimmy, but you miss Jim's head. And you embed your fist into the uh, into the wall to the right of him. It is very intimidating though, Jim, you are intimidated by this. <laughs> oh god. You can't you can't just attack Marcus. You, you hear Marcus born. you hear Marcus saying, We don't have anything delivered. I'm giving you everything that we have for free here. Your lodgings have all been paid for, and your food have been provided. Yes, Marcus, we understand. We're so thankful. This I don't know what's got have. into. And I don't know what's got into Jimmy. Please, please, <laughs> please take this fifty gold as compensation for oh our idiot member <laughs> who oh. has started something for no reason. Please accept this gold. He uh, he says, "I don't want your gold. It's fine." He uh, he walks over to both you, Jim and Dim. Yeah, he pulls your arm out of the wall, and then he uh, he eyes you, he eyes you up, Jim, and goes, "Try that again." As he uh, as he walks off, pushing past you into the back room. All right. I follow him. <laughs> you're uh, you're currently being shrouded by Fiat at the moment with his arm. Why, why are you following Marcus? I push, I push past the arch and I give him a death glare as I walk by him. <laughs> Make a strength check. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Oh, Fiatch is holding you tightly in the warm and loving embrace of his arm. <laughs> I look at Fiatch and I say, "Please let me go talk to Marcus." He says, "Let him be." He'll All get right. over it. At this point, I'm stunned by Dimmy's attempt to punch me, Marcus's attempt to stab me. If, uh, from the force that you've seen, if that had connected, that would have been goodbye your skull and yeah. uh, an immediate death of your character. Yeah. I'm going to say, look, guys, let's calm down. Let's You're the one who started this! What are you talking about? You calm down! I'm calm down. I realise I was a bit silly. Let's just eat this fucking shitty sweet corn. And uh Corn on the cob's great. Wait, hold on. I have I have some spice right here. Do you want to add some barbecue rub to your coin? It'll make it taste less sweet and so more savory. So you uh, you look at that and you look over at the corn and you realize it's actually very well prepared corn. It has cheese on it, it has lots of spices, it has some sour cream. It's basically on corn. Mexican it's basically Mexican style corn. What does that even mean? I don't know what it means, but if let it's me, gonna not taste like fucking just you, let me eating a fucking... Oh, it's cooking. delicious corn. It is... Let me tell you, this corn is the best corn you'll ever have in your entire life. I will die for this corn. <laughs> I will die by Marx's corn, okay? What this is, is the on? corn on what the cob. What is going on? Here, look. I'll, uh, I'll post it there. I'll post it, in, I'll post it in the chat. Mad role as well. playing over this corn, like... <laughs> there you go. That's what it looks like. <laughs> 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 No, 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 this corn is the best, let me tell you, this okay, is Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. That's corn. not like any corn on the okay. club I've had in my life. No, okay. this is the best kind of corn you can have. Okay. Okay. See, if I'd seen that, I wouldn't have been so mad. The corn on the cob that I've seen in my life does not look like because that. Because you, you, you flew off the handle before you, uh, you looked the at the handle. corn. Before you looked at the corn, if you had looked at the corn, you would have realised it was yeah. delicious Mexican well, style. Well, Fiatch can't hold both of us, so I'll go up to Marcus and I'll say, no, no, "Sorry, no, no, mate." No. 
Sorry, man. As you're, uh, as, as you're trying to walk past, Theatch puts his other arm out in front of you, trying to stop you. And I'll say, take your damn claws off me, you damn dirty dragon. <gasps> How dare you talk to Theatch <laughs> like that? Take it back. Are you, um, are you actually going to say that? Well, of yeah, I'm I am. offended. He's, uh, he's not putting his hand on you. He's putting it in front of you to block oh, your path. God. Okay, well, I'll be like... Okay, I won't say it. He, he, he hasn't touched me. Okay. I'll say... Back off from Fiat. I'll say I just want to apologize. Give him some time. Let him be. You're okay. He'll get over him. Okay, then. Let's eat this. Let, let's eat this surprisingly good. Doesn't just taste like a load of shitty water corn on the cob. <laughs> You have no idea how much you're skirting death, Jim. If you had actually said that to him, that would have... Uh, <laughs> that, would, that would have been death there, honestly. My boy would have fucked you up, Jim! He, he, would, have, he would have fucked you up. There's, um... He could have fucking there, tried. There's, uh, there's an eerie silence. <laughs> yeah, too. There's an eerie silence at dinner as you're eating. Um, Am I theatch. sitting next to Theatch? No, wow. fucking yeah. hell. Can we touch these? <laughs> You um, <laughs> you reach your hand down on the table and put your hand on his knee, and um, he uh he shrugs it off again. And, uh, he shrugs it. He, he shrugs it off and goes, "Not not the moment." <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> he's uh he's scowling at you, Jim, from across the table. Oh god! I'll uh, I'll give him a wink. <laughs> He's, uh, he's not impressed. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll, I'll, eat, I'll eat the corn on the cob very suggestively. <laughs> Maybe like this. He doesn't react to you seductively eating the corn, Jim. Oh, tragic. Tragic. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you guys finish up your meals, and as you, uh, as you do this, Theatcha uh, bids you all a good night, apart from you, Jim. Yeah. And, uh, and goes I'll upstairs. Stro I'll stroke logic. his leg with my foot before he goes. Oh, Jim. <laughs> Jim, just stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> are you uh, are you gonna do that? Yeah. No. No. Oh my god. No. <laughs> you uh, you stroke his leg with your foot. He uh, he looks up from his bowl, sees you smiling over at him as you're uh, as you're attempting to stroke his leg. Stands up and he's gonna go for a punch straight to your face, Jim. All right, I'll duck. I'll duck. Uh, okay. You roll against him then. I've got his roll here. Can you roll a? Uh, what would I get you to roll here? <laughs> Just give me a straight dexterity check. Not funny anymore, is it, Jim? Dexterity. Straight dexterity 15. Check. He rolls a natural 20, Jim. Oh, fuck. Um, he punches you clean in the face and you black out on the floor. Hey, yo! Wow. You deserve it, to be honest, mate. Straight up, just black out. You do out deserve on the floor. it. Yeah, yeah, you deserve it. Nah. You deserve it. Bollocks. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm. I'm not even gonna mention anything or say anything. I'm, I'm totally, not gonna say anything. Either. I'm totally I'm fine chuckle. with him being. Yeah, carried, he walks. The edge walks over to the edge of the table. Puts, uh, puts a hand on each of your shoulders and goes, Good night. I'll give you more night, information Fiatch. in the morning. <laughs> good, good night, Fiat. Good night. As he, uh, as he walks upstairs. Sorry, to his sorry room. about our friend there. <laughs> yeah, he walks up to his room. Jim's currently lying on the floor. Marcus peeks his head out from the uh, from the kitchen, sees Jim lying on the floor, and uh, just shakes his head. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Marcus. Yeah, he you walks out. It, Jim. He goes what the hell the happened here? Yeah, he just, he walks just, out. Uh... He walks out with a couple of sharpies and tosses them over to you on the table. Yeah, I'm gonna draw a penis on Jim's face. Thanks, Jim. Yep. Yep. 
Tren, you've got a sharpie as well. What color I do you wanna... want? Can I have pink? You can have a pink sharpie. <laughs> Look, cyan. Cyan? No, pink. You want, no, a cyan, pink. you want a pink sharpie? You get a pink sharpie. You don't want a cyan one. Yeah, I want a one. pink sharpie. But when you say pink, do you mean like actually pink or do you green? <laughs> pink. So you um you start drawing on Jim's face. There's a, there's a cock or two put on there. Anybody else want to put something on him? I want to draw a dick on his face, yeah. <laughs> yeah, two dicks. Two dicks. Yeah. One on like, each cheek. I want to get One really artistic, yeah. so I basically want it to be like Michelangelo's ceiling. But <laughs> it's like two penises in twist did with each other, like, fighting in. Oh, yeah, I see a vision. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. See a vision. Fighting yeah. over death and, like, like, heaven and hell was yeah. just being, yeah. I've just finished my Malibu, by the way. Maybe that's coincident or not with me getting hit by a fucking dragon guy. <laughs> <laughs> as, you, uh, as he does this, Jim, he, uh, he writes on your, Marcus writes on your forehead, C-nut. <laughs> oh, in man. permanent marker, black permanent marker, big bold letters. He's gone over it like four or five times. To make fucking Marcus. Stay. Fucking trying to give us fucking sweet corn, honestly. Yeah, he laughs and walks back into the kitchen. Good man, Marcus. Good man. Fucking Marcus. <laughs> um. Are you just gonna mind. leave Jim there, or are you guys gonna go to go to sleep? Uh, I think we should go to sleep. Oh, I think I'll slap Jim around the face a little bit and just go, wake up, wake up, like we're going to bed. <laughs> wake up, he's I'm going to bed. <laughs> oh, cold. thanks, Timmy. <laughs> Where? Uh, he, he's he's out cold, Tim. He's completely gone. <laughs> he's uh, he's still breathing, but he's out cold. Can I like drag him over to the corner and just prop him up against the wall, and then I'll go to bed. Yeah, why are you propping him up over here? Uh, like completely south, just south. What? Right. What hit? Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That'll oh, that do. was hit. Or hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I was gonna go there, but put, put him out of the way. There it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So you, uh, you put him over there. You drag him over, and then I'm assuming you're going to bed. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah. Cool. Trent, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to bed. You're going up to bed. Nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. A couple of hours go by, Jim, and you're uh, you're still there on the floor, unconscious. And uh, Marcus starts sweeping around you. Customers start coming in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bar slowly starts to fill up. <laughs> people are uh, people are laughing at you. Yeah. They uh yeah. Every everything's there. You're having a little nap in the corner. Everything appears to be fine. Good. Good. Occasionally, Marcus comes over and he dumps a, uh, a tankard of water on you to make sure that you're uh, you're still alive. <laughs> and, uh, and you are. Good. Don't you? You're, uh, you keep there for the night. And that's the, uh, that's the end of the session. Played. Amazing. Played. Amazing. I, I'm so confused about whether we're doing stuff right or not. Yeah. There's um there's no right answer to any of this. You said so, you were gonna say I'd... something after this session faulty, didn't you? You said you were gonna say can something. Do if you want. Yeah. Spoilers though. Okay. A lot of this, Dimmy, I've um I've written out multiple different paths that uh, that go through. So there'll be one arcing path to start with, which will then split off into multiple different paths, and then it will converge to the same point. Jesus. So no matter what you do. 99.9% of the time is going to be fine. So I wouldn't worry about doing the wrong thing. Okay. Because you're, you're not going to be able to do the wrong thing. Glorious. Well, yeah. that was great. Um, and I guess that's the end of the YouTube. So thank you very much. Got, yeah, I just got, and Jim got knocked out. As well. I did knocked get knocked out. the Perfect fuck out ending. by a big dragon bastard. <laughs> hey, that's. That's my boo, okay? <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> my boo. <laughs> oh my god. Um, thank you very much, Paul Falstrand and Dimmy. And um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. Glorious.